Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with some oxygen. Uh oh. Did I? No, no, we're good. Okay, fantastic. So where were we? Um, we've got some spaghetti mess up here where we're trying to get steam power to support our, uh, well, to give us a cooling loop and also to kind of help support our electrolys uh, electrolyzer builds is what I had in mind. Um, we're a bit low on water here already. Next activity isn't for 32 cycles. Hmm. Might have to get some more wa- oh. Oxygen is not looking so good, and we have no algae. And most of this water is polluted now. I mean, the polluted water will get recycled and turned into regular water uh, eventually, but... That's not looking so great all the same. I think it's about time we salvage some of this. Um, we've got a bunch of water here. A lot of it's polluted though. Salt water is not so helpful. There's water all the way up here. There's also some polluted water mixed in. I've been talking about tapping this steam vent for water for a while now, actually. Um, comes out at 500 degrees, wow. I should definitely build a steam engine above this at some point. It's not gonna... The regolith isn't gonna, like, fall on our heads or something. Is it? Well, whatever the case, uh, the main thing right now is trying to survive. And to do that, we need to secure more water, especially another permanent supply of water. We do have a bunch of water stored, which should last us a while. But I don't know if that's going to be enough. Uh, let's unpause, get things in motion, see what's going on. I was thinking maybe I could have transformers going both ways here. If I want to transfer the power from... Uh, actually, I don't even need to do that. Oh, it's even simpler than I thought it was. Okay, cool. Um, I guess we just... Well, I'm going to need a... I'm going to need a, uh, what is it called? Heavy watt junction plate. But other than that, this shouldn't be that much of a problem. Valdak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So we're going to connect the steam engine to the main power here. And we're going to run these things off of conductive wire so that, mostly just so that we can have proper insu excuse me, proper insulation here. That should be fine. I need to fill this with water again. That won't be much of a problem. We've already got a pipe system in place that'll let us do that quite easily, actually. And we can just rebuild that. Can I get these things repaired, perhaps? Priority. Does repair count as construction or cleaning duties? Okay. Uh, duties, get up there. Definitely need these fixed at some point. 
Now how am I going to get this water from all the way up here? With pipes, I suppose. I could let it pour all the way down into the base, but I don't think that's going to work out so well. This cavern is not looking so good. Food poisoning, slime lung, floral scent, and zombie spores? Oh no. Um... Uh... That's... That's a problem, but we've got bigger problems right now. I really want to get this, um... polluted water... cleaned up. And I was thinking I should... I don't know how I'm going to do it from this spaghetti mess that we've got at this point, but I wanted to get a separate clean water and polluted water storage. Oxygen Pog, indeed. Creo Gentleman, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I added those fluid burners during my tests when I was uh, present on a ship. Nice compliment for interstellar travel and also backup power. It eats nothing. Each makes two megawatts. So I didn't realize... So you're telling me that's exactly the same burner that consumes, like, liquid rocket fuel? But it seems those burners are not needed because ship consumes less power when I'm not on it. That's weird. I'm really getting to the point of being tempted to restart with what I've learned. I think we're probably going to die anyway, so we may as well try to see how far we can go with this. Liquid rocket fuel will just give less power. That's interesting. That That is... That sounds like an excellent power option for almost any ship, honestly. So we don't have to build a reactor on a ship. Um, should I just build it? Maybe I should make a new, like, water storage area. Like, under here, maybe. And perhaps we'll be able to, like, transfer everything over when we get that set up right. Let me review what we've got here. Um, we've got pump, water goes here, we filter it, polluted water goes up here, uh, some of it goes to fertilizer, the rest of it is consumed well, is, is cleaned up by the water CF, which outputs clean water and polluted dirt. Clean water comes down here. You would think we'd see a bunch of clean water here, but not so much, apparently. So why is it not working? Um... I'm actually not sure why it isn't working right now. Water CF. Oh, because there's no polluted water input at the moment. Okay. In that case... Wasn't there a reason that I moved this liquid pump to where the water was? It seems like I should be consuming the polluted water. Oh, I see. We were only sucking in polluted water, and the cleaned up water was coming out where there's no pump. And then, let's pretend all the cleaned up water ends up over here. This pump only sucks in polluted water. Polluted water gets backed up. Hmm, okay, in that case, why don't I add... Let's change this. And I want to add a pump that's going to suck in nothing but polluted water for the foreseeable future. Hmm. 
And I was going to say it would bypass this filter and go straight to here. But then once we actually give it clean water, that's a problem. Am I going to have to make another liquid filter? Or if we could change the piping so that there's a... No, that wouldn't work. I was going to say a T intersection before we bring this up here. What does this output? Polluted water. I see. Hmm. There's not much room here. Um... I think I do have to add a filter. So... Where does this polluted water go? Oh, I see. What a, what a spaghetti mess. I don't have room to put anything in here. Unless I get rid of some of these ladders. That might be doable. And then we put, like, a filter here. Oh, this is outputting polluted water at this spot. Wait, where's the... Wait, what? Oh, you're joking. This outputs clean water to the same pipe where this outputs polluted water. <laughs> That's a bit of a fucky bucky. Okay. Um, insufficient resources slime. Yeah. Uh, I forgot that we could use slime for algae. So let's dig up some of that. That might help. With the oxygen problem. And... I think once we remove this ladder, I want to put a liquid filter here. A vent here. Cavatho. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Who is being scalded? Holy crap. How? How are you so low on health? Oh, no. Um, okay, we're gonna f forbid this door for now. Quinn, get the hell out of there, please. Right now. No, keep going. Please don't collapse. That's a problem. Don't... Go back over there? Are you serious? I need more hospital beds at this rate. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on this. What's the temperature here? 72 degrees? How did polluted water get here? Please don't tell me it got... Well, it's not polluted water, it's like gas. But... Tell me when we're not getting polluted water in here. Okay, seems good. Uh, what about down here? We're gonna need another pump. And we're... Uh, I need like... Like a double liquid bridge here. Um, okay, we can fix this. Deconstruct this pipe, add a liquid bridge here, and then add a liquid bridge here, but that won't work because you can't just put a liquid bridge straight into a filter. So I guess we need two liquid bridges here. Like this? Yeah, same same as what I did this way. 
Okay. Uh, and then we're going to need a pump. And then we're going to have the pipe go up here. Um, and we're going to have our... Our liquid filter here. We're going to output the water straight... We're going to output the clean water straight back in here. Polluted water is going to get the express lane straight up to the water CF. That's the plan, at least. I'll have to wait for the dupes to get that done. Damsel is getting scalded as well. Wow, this repair job is going to take a long time. That's... that's not great. Um, am I going to have to, like, forbid repairing this for a minute? Is this water really hot? Is that why we've got a problem? No, it doesn't look like it's really the issue. Can I, like, forbid this temporarily or something? Doesn't seem like it. Everyone's taking so long to heal that we can't just pop someone onto the hospital bed when they're low. That's a problem. Alright, I'm keeping the game on, like, slow speed for a minute. That's... I do not want to miss the moment. I could actually leave this here. We could do another one of these. And this could go here. And that would be what we're looking for. And then conductive wire like this. I'll keep that last bit disconnected until we've set up the filters. Uh, and then... And then I realize I have a problem. I think I'm going to have to do the same double bridge. Can I not? There we go. Like this. Only to the right. No, nope, that's, that's going in. So this one's going to the left. Wait, what? Um... I think this pipe... Hold on. Uses water... Oh, this water. This is a water input to the carbon skimmer. Okay, good. That's fine then. So this one goes to the right. And... This one apparently also goes to the right? But is that a mistake? No, we're good. Okay. So, like this. And then... I don't actually want this to keep going where it's going, so we'll remove that, and then I'll have the polluted water go straight over here, and hopefully it's... I, I, I'm sure we'll be able to keep up with the algae distiller, with the water CF overall. Where's Undead Hunter going with no health? Get back down here. I need to actually close this area off. I don't like it, but what can you do? Let's make another airlock. High priority. And until everyone's healed, we're not letting anyone in there. Alright. 
Let's keep an eye on this while we speed up the game. Where are you going? Good. Okay. Do, 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 do. I'm not going to have them mop this up just yet. I guess I should have blocked that if I want that water to go down here as well anyway. Where are you going? Papers, please. Undead Hunter Cook? Wait, what? But it looks like you're just supplying instead. There we go. Where are you going? Okay, fine, I'll allow it. But from this moment on, no one's coming back up here. Not until everyone's healed. Maybe I should have made a bigger hospital. How big can a hospital be? 96 tiles? Do you have to have one... Uh, one mess table for every... No, it looks like one mess table might be enough for several beds. In the hospital. So probably like... One hospital... Uh, one cot... How does a sick bay work exactly? Okay. Probably several cots, one sick bay, one mess table, and like one toilet and sink is what I should do next time. At least we're not running out of food. I would definitely limit production of plastic next time as well, if we're going to run it off coal. I didn't think I'd run out of coal. Well, we've got 10 tons at the moment, but it was trending downwards. Probably still is. So what does meal would require? I wanted to double check that. Dirt. And pretty much nothing else. Let me guess, we're slowly running out of dirt. Forty two point seven tons. Can I see like exactly how much we've had in storage over time somewhere? That's not what I'm looking for. Colony summary, here we go. I guess I can't just pick a resource specifically. Or maybe I can. Dirt? Uh, I'm, we're not going to find it under achievements. Yeah, I don't think that is... What were these buttons down here? Quit, return to game. That's not that helpful. How's our oxygen getting worse? Oh, we got some algae at least. There's that. Um, can we get the liquid filter prioritized? That way I can s change the settings as soon as it's built. And add the conductive wire so I don't have to remember. We'll definitely take the fungal spores.
Food has decayed. Wait, what? Oh, the building broke again? Didn't we just fix this? Hmm. It would probably be a good idea next time we take from a water geyser. Uh, to cool the water immediately. But then we need something to sink the heat. We need steam turbine. We need plastic. We gotta get that plastic faster. So next time I want to dig down to oil and where lead is in particular as well. Nice, easy, refined metal. The only problem is it doesn't like heat. We need to replace the iron storage? Copper storage. Uh, what do you mean by that? Do, the thing this is made of is copper ore. Doesn't copper have... Let's see. Liquid reservoir, copper, decor, iron. We could use gold amalgam. Is that what you're getting at? The temperature's too high. Overheat 75. Yeah, you're right. Um, we've got plenty of gold amalgam. Can I just... Unfortunately, no. I don't particularly want to throw out all of that water. We need it to get through to the next geyser cycle. So, once I get the opportunity, I'll replace it. O one five three R. Uh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right. Can we get this built or what? Oh, it's it is built, for the most part. There's no path to here, is there? Okay, um, can the dupes... This'll do. Alright, so this is going to be polluted water. And... Pipe's gonna connect like so. And go here. And then we need the... I was going to say underground pipes. Uh, we need some liquid bridges. Uh, and then we... It's already connected to power. Okay, cool. Anyway, GM. GM. This game seems interesting and fun. Yeah, it's... It's pretty tricky to... Like, the learning curve is difficult. Oh, we can make these things now. Oxygen masks. So that's what the crafting station lets you make. Or at least the first thing. Isn't oxygen mask like just a worse but much easier... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not exosuit. Uh, Atmo suit? Your local guru? Thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, Raiders. How's your stream today? Oxygen not included. Seems good. Alright, did we get the... No, not yet. Let's get this ladder prioritized. It was fun, of course. Fantastic. We're just at the point where I really want to restart and take what I've learned and build things more cleanly and deliberately. But I'm thinking maybe I should just try to survive instead. Love me a good colony builder game, indeed. Love me some Rimworld. And 
to a lesser and greater extent, Dwarf Fortress. It's no Rimworld. Well, that's true. <laughs> Did I try e every run after 50 cycles? It's already a mess. <laughs> yeah. Um, but this is the first steam turbine that I've actually built. So we definitely learned a few things. That this, I think this is the first time I got plastic as well. Um, and I definitely came up with a, a couple of ideas about power, um, heat management. I definitely... I don't want to try building like the metal refinery next to the thermo nullifier next time. I thought, oh, this produces a bunch of heat, this can get rid of a bunch of heat. It's a match made in... no. Um, we should get our cooling loop working sooner next time. How's our oxygen? Uh, not as bad as it was. Did we get this built? No, why not? Pipe blocked? That's not what I'm looking at. Uh, conductive wire awaiting delivery. Okay. Can we get that prioritized, please? We actually got all the pipes done already. You tried already the heat exchanger tiles. Do you mean, like, conductive tiles? The opposite of insulated? I have not. I don't think I've got access... Oh, metal tiles? Significantly increases run speed. Heat travels much more quickly through metal tile than any... than other types of flooring. That's kind of expensive, though. A hundred metal... For every tile. But I guess we could make like a heat conduit. No base can be built perfect from the start, just build out in separate specialized areas as it goes. Yeah, I know, uh, especially when you're not familiar with the production chains. Uh, however, this is like, the spaghetti is getting to the point of being almost unmanageable at this point. Hmm. Maybe I should build more CFs next time and just pump all the polluted... Oh, no, wait. I remember as well something I learned the hard way. Um... We wanted to... The water that's coming out of the CF has germs in it, right? I don't know how I'm supposed to clean that. Oh, that's right. Someone said put chlorine above the water. Except that didn't work out so well this time either. Spaghetti, indeed. Our PHL streams. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We know what kind of base would be if you are not familiar with things. Spaghetti, indeed. Very, very difficult not to get spaghetti if you don't know the whole game yet. Um, Alright, so this thing actually got finished. Finally. And we are slowly cleaning all of our polluted water now. I just hope we don't run out of filtration medium. Uh, isn't that sand? How do I tell what it's using? It's like, sand is a filtration medium, right? Filtration? Here we go. We've still got 164 tons of sand, so I'm not too worried about that. How fast is this? 5 kilograms per second? 
Oh, but a, a tile of water is like a thousand kilograms. Um, so 200 seconds per tile. And we've got, what, about 64 tiles? Uh, so we're looking at 12,800 seconds. 213 minutes. We're looking at like three and a half hours or so of the water sea have running continuously to clean this up. Have a good rest of the stream. Thanks for the raid. Thanks for dropping by. Take care, local guru. Uh, local guru. And thank you for the follow. Have you tried not killing dupes today? Yeah, we haven't killed a single dupe today. And it's been uh, 33 whole minutes already. See, I even built a door and locked locked the hot spot away. Is everyone healed yet? No, no, they're not. Uh, we got undead hunter is still hurt. Apparently, we can also assign. Damsel, Cavern, Imsark, and Sloda. But it said they were healed. Maybe they're sick. Nope, nope, here they are. Alright, Damsel. Get on the triage cot. Not death in 36 minutes. <laughs> Ranked. Locking the hotspot away, a wise decision, leaving it to future hacks, such wisdom I approve. I mean, I can't babysit all of them all the time, and they keep trying to kill themselves. Do I actually I, I actually do want... Well, it's not that we're running out of water down here. It's... I guess it's not really that we're running out of water up here either. I mean, we probably will. Whatever, I'll take it. There's definitely no harm in it, and I don't need more dupes. You seem to have taken the name of the game a bit too literally, though. Your base seems to be slightly out of breathing stuff. No, we're good. Look, like 70-something percent of the base you won't die in. It, it's Fine. Don't worry about it. Why are people making a mess? How is there no... What is this? Why is the water not going up to the bathrooms? And it seems to have stopped recently. But we didn't change anything. We didn't touch that pipe. Uh, uh, so this goes to the right only. Carbon skimmer. This pump. Oh, I think I understand. Maybe. I think the water is blocked by the pollution. Uh, polluted water being backed up. Because one of the changes I made made it so that we can't just dump it straight back into here. In which case... Uh... In which case... That's our loop. It's not what I'm looking for. Why doesn't it come out here and go up here? Because this is blocked. Hmm. 
I need to let it out only if it's full. Oh, and this is getting prioritized over this as well. Oh, no. That's not helping. Uh, okay, I, I was gonna say I think I see the play, but not really. Okay, I think I know what to do here. And then we get rid of this liquid bridge. What? Why didn't it disappear? What? No, don't tell me they left the deconstruction job 99% finished. Are you serious? Bruh. Okay. Alright, now this polluted water can move. Which means this water can move. And it's like 50-50, the polluted water from each side goes into the CF. And more importantly, we don't have a hard priority on this polluted water. And that seems to be enough. Dracos still require mealwood unless you starve ranch them. That doesn't sound very nice. That pipe branch it stopped just before doesn't know where to go, indeed. Glossies need mealwood. Regular Dracos only need balm lily. No need for dirt for farming. Uh, how much dirt do we have still? 40 tons. Are we producing dirt in any way, or are we just slowly running out of that too? There's some dirt. I imagine we're just slowly running out of it, right? Like most things. I'm definitely going to be much more picky with the dupes next time, and at most I'm going to go with eight until I've got everything completely under control. It'll be a bit slower building and researching things and stuff, but who cares? We won't be spending 70% of the game running around with our hair on fire. Alright, that is actually slowly cleaning up our water supply. Although you wouldn't necessarily know it, looking at what these tiles say. But it seems to be showing more blue, so it doesn't look like it just pumps, drops water back in here and then it says, oh, this is a polluted water tile. This is now polluted water. I think I'd like to take a lot more advantage of wild plants next time as well. Uh, with their strange lack of needing any resources. Alright, is everyone healthy? No, Cavern DK is still not healed. Weren't you, like, 99% healed earlier? Get Cool Slush Geyser and Cool Salt Slush Geyser. Warm to zero. Desalinate br- Okay, so spoilers. Is he already planning for the next time? Rip run. Yeah, I, I think we're- I think we're on a doomed trajectory.
I don't think I'm going to get things figured out and under control in time. Besides, we can restart with less spaghetti. Okay. Um, so, is everyone healed now? Yes, they are. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm sure I'm gonna regret this. But we're gonna let people back into this place. And no one's coming now. Well, I just saw you live and wanted to say hi, but I need to try and catch a few Z's today, so I'll be lurking. Take care, Tumbling. Thanks for dropping by. Thanks for the luck. Electroli... Electrolyzer? Wait, what? Uh, Electrolyzer not working. Yeah, we don't have anyone up here at the moment, because I had to seal it off because people kept killing themselves. Or trying to. But I've just opened the door up again. Oxygen's getting worse. And we're probably completely out of... We are making algae. How much slime do we have? Zero kilograms. Okay, we literally just... Just ran out. I guess... Go and get me this. Build small electrolyzer down there somewhere to help with oxy. Um, then our water supply is going to run out. I've got the electrolyzers hooked up to uh, an infinite water supply. But it's quite warm, so I don't want to just dump it down here. Don't get too scalded, please. Alright, let's stay on top of this. Damsel, get healed. I am Sark. Isn't actually damaged? Oh, we got that repaired. Fantastic. Once it's actually empty, I'll replace it with something that can take higher temperatures. The temperature's also dropping, though. So that helps. Uh, we're almost full. Oh, I need to replace... I need to block swap airflow tile here so that we can let this air out. Base will be fine if a couple of dupes die. No, no it won't. It, it will last longer before running out of some critical finite resource that I haven't figured out how to get infinite of just yet. But we won't be fine. What's the minimum number of dupes I could reasonably run? I'm seriously considering going with that next time. Oh, we got it. That was quick. Alright, so once this actually fills up with water... It's probably enough already, actually. Uh, we're getting there. As soon as we reach, like, 500, I'll queue up getting rid of this bridge.
Oh, the Thermo Aqua Tuner is running. I didn't even realize. Um. Uh. Not as planned. Um. It's only. Okay, it's basically out of energy. Do we have hydrogen here? That's what's running it right now. It's it's a self-reinforcing loop. Or at least it doesn't require as much input as it other, otherwise would. Um, crap. I think... I think we should get this done as soon as possible. In fact, make it an emergency and then get out of there before it hits 100 degrees and you get scalded. Make sure this doesn't actually completely fill up with water. I think that would probably cause a problem or two. Don't get scalded, Veldak. Fantastic. Alright, we did it. And we are six degrees short of getting steam. And our cooling loop is cooling the base now. Uh, just in time for our trees not to get too hot. Most of them. Water is at 95.6 degrees. Did you figure out that steam setup by yourself? Yeah, pretty much. I think when I played up uh, only a long time ago, I saw that thermo aqua tuners were needed to make the steam, but that's about it. What are we getting for printables? Nutrient bars, why not? So basically what I'm going to use this steam engine for is just even more self-reinforcing. Uh, so it takes very little manual generator to get this thing running itself. Really, it's there to delete heat. And next project, we need to take this water from up here, uh, separate the polluted water, and pump, uh, pump clean water in here. Is that going to be feasible? Oh, I really need to stop putting pipes next to each other. Yeah, that's a problem. Um, I suppose I could just pump it straight into here. Yeah, this pipe here, that, that'll accomplish the same thing. Alright, so we're going to just extend this up. What about this bridge here? Uh, I could do this, except that's going the wrong way. So, bridge facing south. Except I forgot the minor detail of getting rid of the polluted water. Maybe we could do it up here. There's not much polluted water, the rest is just going to be clean water. 
So I think I'll just dump it outside. Uh, so we're going to have a... Uh, where is it? Liquid pump. We, of course, will need another filter. At least at first. This is awkward. Um, I guess I'll just do it like this. Insulated pipe. Clean water. Down here. And... Polluted water, we'll just shove it out here. And then we need to run electricity up there. Um... I'm tempted to just steal this, except I would have to run heavy what wire all the way. Probably costs less metal if I use a transformer, right? 200... And this is 100 per, ti uh, per tile. Yeah, that tracks. Okay, so we're gonna shove... Uh-oh. Why are we still making a mess? Why is there no water here? There's a tiny bit of water. What vent is that? Uh, do you mean way up here? This is for getting rid of gas. Um, this goes to space, so... Some carbon dioxide and stuff, I'm just shoving it in there. Some high throughput pipes would be really nice. The clutter can be so stupid. Oh, you mean like modded? Mad Mike, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The guys are up there. Oh, uh, this is a steam vent. But for now, I'm just going to exploit it for water. Since we've only got one water vent and we're kind of running... I, I'm, using the, I'm using the water for oxygen and hydrogen. Um, but this one water geyser probably isn't cutting it. So I'm going to steal condensed steam water from up here and yeah I'm just figuring out where to put a transformer probably here maybe something like this and then it's kind of awkward. I am going to have to dig, aren't I? Like so. That should just about do it. Hot steam vent, 500 degrees steam. Yeah, but it cools to... Once it cools to water, it's going to be below 100. It'll need quite a bit of building to handle a hot steam vent, even with steel. Well, the steam will be up here. In fact, I could dig it out a bit so that there's more room for the steam. Um, we do have insulated pipes. What temperature can this handle? 75... What's it made of? Copper ore. Hmm, maybe that'll be a problem. Maybe I should send the water somewhere else first. Maybe I should send it through an aqua tuner? Hmm... 
one thing at a time, I guess. Did we get water in here again? No. Didn't do anything to make that happen yet. The CF isn't running. Do I have this prioritized? Uh, I don't think so. Wait, that's a different circuit. This one. It is... Hmm. We just need electricity running through the water CF. How much power does it use? 120. I should definitely make more than one next time. It doesn't have a minimum power consumption, right? So the, there's no harm in having at least a couple. I'm definitely separating water and polluted water next time. What a base, yellow liquids everywhere? Yeah. Y yeah. Yeah. Um, this is not getting fixed. Why isn't it getting fixed? Oh, are we out of copper? No, we've got 1.5 tons. This costs 400. So why? Maybe I should just deconstruct it and let the water out. What's the temperature here now? It's only like 70. Oh, is this steam? Uh, yes it is. Nice. Generator, generator idle, 4 out of 5 inputs blocked. Is that the only reason? Is it just not hot enough down here yet? Seems that way, perhaps? What's our automation grid? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, I need to crank this up a little bit. Okay. We're going to allow a higher temperature right here. Before this shuts off. What's the temperature on the steam turbine? 61.9 degrees. It fails at... I don't remember what temperature. Something surprisingly low. Like 75 or something? Overheat temperature a thousand? That's not what we're looking for. Overheat temperature... Where is... Where is the information that tells us that actually the steam turbine falls over at like 75 degrees or something? Overheat temperature 980. Um, doesn't it just... Do we actually have to get it too hot for, us to, for it to tell us? Somewhere or other it said it was exceeding temperature earlier on. Max power production is at 200C with all five vents open. Oh, speaking of all five vents open, why is it idle now?
Um, we've got over 100 degrees on all of these tiles of steam. How hot can this go? Overheat temperature 175. Wow. Okay. Uh, I guess let's crank this up some more. Let's say 150 for now. Something's getting damaged. What is it? Uh, alright, let's cool this off, I guess. 105. Is it the pipe? Pipe. Temperature 105. Why is it so hard to find this information? What is it made of? Igneous rock. Uh, pipe, insulated, igneous rock, overheat temperature plus 15. It doesn't give us an initial overheat temperature. Seriously? I don't know if it's the pipe or... Or what? No, I think it is the aqua tuna. Overheat temperature 175. But it seems to be damaged, and I can't think what could have done that except for heat. It's that, it's that AT itself peaking over 175. There's nothing even close to 175. It's all like 105 degrees. It was peaking above 175. The aqua tuna? It can't start until the steam is 125 degrees, seriously? Okay. That information would be very useful to have in the game. Steam turbine. This is it. This is all of the information. Overheat temperature a thousand degrees. That was a lie. I see, yeah, there it is. It only does it briefly. Well, what am I supposed to do? Do I need to have a big reservoir with the aqua tuna at the bottom so that there's a bunch of liquid water and some of it gets flashed to steam? But then that steam up here won't be getting heated up. Build it out of steel? I don't have steel. How am I supposed to have steel at this point? <sighs> Produced by iron, refined carbon, and lime. How the heck do I get refined carbon? Iron to steel, okay. Refined carbon. Uh, kiln. Coal becomes refined carbon. At least that's easy enough. Where are we going to put it? 
Why don't we put it up here for now? Do I even have a kiln? The recipe that is? Yes, under the same one as Rock Crusher. So, refinement? Kiln? Does this not require power? I should think so. Fires clay to produce ceramic. Lots of heat, but that's the only problem with it. Just how many newbie traps does this game have? Like 1200? We're gonna have to stop this thing. Metal refinery near the surface. I don't need to use polluted water as coolant. We're not getting close to zero degrees with the water. And I wouldn't want to. About 1,337 of them. And this is only the base game. Yeah, I've heard that even early in the game, if you have the DLC, it's even worse. It's not like adding things to the mid and late game. I don't know where those pollution bubbles are coming from behind this manual airlock. Cool, great. So we need to deconstruct this again. Meanwhile, how's that other project coming along? Uh, it's coming along at least. We got the kiln done, that's good. How much refined carbon do I need? How much steel do I need to make an aqua tuna? Um, 1200. That is not a small number. Uh, it's only 20 kilograms of refined carbon per steel. Where am I going to get lime? Additional states magma. We can turn eggshells into lime? Okay. Um, I don't suppose we have any eggshells lying around. I think I set this to... No, I didn't. I was going to say, always break the eggshells. Do we get eggshells whenever we get a new generation of hatches, for instance? Oh, and I'm just realizing... No, I think I still have this somewhere. Nope, never mind. I actually got rid of the old crusher, because why would I want to lose 50% of my metal. But I guess we do need the rock crusher for some specific recipes. Doesn't it produce a ton of heat? That's fine, we've got a cooling loop now. How much power does it use? Refinement... 240 watt, that's child's play. What's the max load on this circuit already though? It's already slightly over a thousand. 240. Uh, 480. Okay, but we'd have to be using like everything at the same time. Uh, we're not using, we're not actually using the Exosuit Forge at the moment. Okay, so I guess we're waiting for some eggshells, so we can get lime. Here's some eggshell. Alright, we should probably just have access to eggshells at a slow trickle, even if we don't try, it seems like. So we can get lime. Uh, refined carbon... I'm just going to go for, like, 500 kilos should be 
plenty for quite a while. Oh, and it's right next... Oh, they only need to put it in. That's good. It's right next to the coal storage as well, so that helps. The crusher recipe of or resources screen will tell you how much you have. A storage bin next to crusher for the shells can help. Okay. Oh, we can print something. What do we get? Do we even want a hatchling right now? Like, we're overflowing with hatchlings. And again... Are we running out of what we're feeding the hatchlings? Uh, don't think so. I think we did run out of sandstone, actually. Wasn't I trying to figure out what else to feed them? No, oh, we've got 12.7 tons. But I think we did run out of that earlier, and then I just dug up some more of it. Should I get more hatchlings and therefore more coal throughput? We are getting frighteningly low on coal. How big can we make a stable? 96. I think next time I'll do blocks that give us 96 tiles. Sedimentary rock. Hey, just Jack. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Sedimentary rock. Try to morph them into stone hatches so they can eat igneous rock. How am I supposed to do that? I've seen the diet thing, but it wasn't very clear. Oh my god, the size of this scroll bar. Sage Hatch. It just tells us what it eats if it's already a Sage Hatch. Can I look at something else? Oh, oh okay. Typically consume these materials at the following rates. 140 kilograms per cycle. Spicy tofu. Can I feed them like meal wood? I can feed them meal lice, mush bar. If I feed them mush bars, does it work out to be uh, more efficient? Mush bar. Oh, dirt. I. I don't want another way to run out of dirt. 75 kilos somehow goes into one mush bar. And water as well. Never mind. Click and hover over the egg type on the critter's stat screen. Egg type. As in this? Oh, egg chances. There we go. Hatchling egg. Is this the current chance, like for this critter? Stone hatchling, 2%. Nothing about how to bump it up. It says increases when? This critter has a 96% chance of laying hatchling eggs. Probably, probably increases when... Oh, so you just start feeding it the thing that it's going to eat if, it be... if we get a stone hatchling. Okay. Do I have... How much sedimentary rock do I actually have? I want it for... 
uh, insulated, 88 tons. Mm. It's a lot more than we have sandstone. Where do I... Sedimentary rock. Okay. Sure. Maybe I should just change it to sedimentary rock at this point. Do I have another... No, I think that's our only... Oh, here it is. Yeah, I thought we had two hatchling farms. Now, if only I could have the oldest ones automatically turned into barbecue. But only when there's more than five. How many are there right now? What does it say? Here it is. Storing five of five. Are you still cramped? No, you're good. How about you? The eggs count as hatches. 20, 34, 26. Why are they so young? You can with critter senses. Really? Uh... Oh, that's so much smaller than I thought it would be. Sends a green signal or a red signal based on the number of eggs and critters in a room. Okay, I'm going to have to build it and see it so I can see what the options actually are. Why is this not being built? It's on maximum priority. Oh. Okay. Avoiding iron ore. Fantastic. How's our power here? Not built. Along with everything else, actually. Oh, I haven't let them through here. That probably... Maybe I should wait until the steam vent stops emitting. But how long is that going to be? Analysis complete. Uh, eruption period. Next dormancy, 52 cycles. But the water guys is going to be active by then. You know what? I think we're actually... I think we actually will get through 20 cycles on this stored water. So we absolutely can wait until this stops. I think. I'm pretty sure. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. So how about... You still haven't built this? Really? So we can tidy this up now. I'm thinking I'll definitely have a water reservoir. Aziz light. Aziz light? Keeps running on the wheels. No. Never. That could never happen. I wouldn't allow it. Oh, I didn't do this before. Reject all. Alright, finally we're building this. And we need to turn eggshells. Why is there no recipe? Oh, here we go. It's poker shell, eggshell. Oh, poker shell malt. Cool. So we can count on that. To get a steady supply of lime, it seems.
Did we get any... We must have. I think we got one refined carbon recipe. 100 kilos. That's fine. It's going to be enough. I could get f five... 500 steel. That's not enough. I need three recipes of this to get done. Why isn't it getting done? Probably too many other jobs. Pixel pack? Can be designated a color when it receives a green signal and a different color when it receives a red. So it's a display and nothing else. Okay. Are we researching anything? Probably not. I mean, I think we're good for research for a while. Don't really need a mechanical surfboard. We got some more... We got multiplexing. Fancy. I never did finish the art stuff. Yeah, we're... Let's just knock all these off one by one. We're pretty close, research-wise. Automation is a big help, indeed. What do we have here? Count critters, count eggs. Oh, I see. It's just for counting. Okay, so I can I can count critters including eggs if I want. What I, What can I do with it? Automation. I don't think this is what I'm looking for. Uh, where's the thing with... Oh, here we go. Supplying. Conveyor rail. Conveyor bridge. Auto sweeper, I suspect, is what we might want. Automate sweeping and supplying errands by sucking up all nearby debris. Materials are automatically delivered to any conveyor loader, conveyor receptacle, storage, buildings within range. 120 watts. Mechatronics engineering is required to build it. Can be viewed at any time. The range... Um, do I need something specific to pick up critters? Automatically digs out all materials in a set range. Well, that's quite the range. I wonder what materials we could move into range of a robo miner. Sensors, conveyor, readers, shut off, shoot, conveyor, shoot. Wait, what? Does conveyor not work the way I imagine? You can use it to trigger an automation event to happen, but it's not actually needed to... Auto meet critters? How so? Auto sweeper puts stuff into the auto loader. Auto loader. Let's see that here. Uh. Tighty tub? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This is all just sensors and wires, right? Under automation. And the conveyor loader. This thing? How does this work? What does the conveyor even look like? Is this it? No, conveyor bridge. Okay, conveyor rail. What 
to... Uh, does it not care about gravity? Can it go through walls? It can? What? Um, does it, what overlay does that show up in? Conveyor overlay. Okay, cool. I want to see this built. Did I? I added recipes for this, but they still haven't built the wire. Insufficient resources. Lovely. Does that mean this project is stalled for the same reason? Doesn't look like it. Awaiting delivery iron ore. Wire. Iron ore. Okay. Unless conveyed through insulated tiles. Unlike pipes, it always exchanges heat. There is no... Uh, no insulated rails. You have wires, pipes, vents, and now conveyors? Yep, it's getting... complicated. So I guess... So when did I get gas masks? Gas mask. Oh, cool. Um, gas? What research did I use to unlock the gas masks? Oxygen mask pattern? That's actually super early. Where was the crafting station? Oxygen mask dock checkpoint. Canister filler... I have a feeling the oxygen mask might still be a little bit of a nuisance to fill up, but probably easier than the suits that we're using. Can probably cancel the rails to nowhere. I just want to see them. And see what we could add to them, how that looks and everything. Let's add even more jobs, because why not? Even this liquid reservoir is overheated. I guess it is made of copper. Uh, I was going to say I could empty this one any time. I'd have to like half fill it again though. Hmm. Work errand. Uh, errands. Fabricate. Operating. Sloda is... not doing it. I think I need to crank the priority on this one? To get anything to happen? It's still not happening? Oh, someone delivered. Okay, cool. I like how they just keep punching the button. How much lime do we have? 10 kilos. How much lime do we need? Uh, only 10 kilos per 100. So we need 12 more recipes like that. to get our one aqua tuna. Speaking of which, it's going to take an age for that steam to cool down again. Fun fact, if you have at least one follower from Ukraine, you were a lucky person. Uh, okay. 
don't understand. What did we just unlock? Beach chair. Recreation room. How big should the recreation room be? I haven't actually built a recreation room, have I? Room display. Rec room. Max 96 tiles. Decor item. No industrial machinery. Recreational building. Okay. Basil. Uh... Okay. Zario, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Well, we're not dead. There's that. Still making oxygen with our electrolyzers. I'm seeing more um, hydrogen accumulating now. How's the oh, the steam engine? Of course, isn't running. What am I thinking? How much longer before we start noticing like one of these tiles actually says water as opposed to polluted water? checking up there, but it's not that high a priority. This, on the other hand... Well, I actually already queued up the steel, so I don't have to keep checking on that until we actually have it. Awaiting coolant? What? You're joking. How did this happen? Uh, I forgot. I think... Send green signal if above 25 degrees... Yeah, no, I think we should change this. But how? Oh no! Oh, that's supposed to have a bridge. Okay, luckily it didn't matter yet. That happened quickly. I think I'll just get rid of the spaghetti. There's no water here right now. So why don't we get rid of all of this spaghetti? And rethink things. And hopefully do a little better this time. Metal refinery. I should definitely... Maybe I should put the metal refinery in the loop, the steam engine, next time. Or maybe I could make another steam engine? We've actually got resources. I could do this while we're waiting uh, for this steam to condense again. What is this made of? Lead. Okay, so that's not an issue. We've got printables. Printables. Uh, what do the shine nymphs eat? Shine bug. Bristleberry, Bristleberry, Phosphorite. Um, oh, we don't get anything out of it? Except maybe plus decor. Yeah, okay. You get light, yes. 
They still haven't built this? Seriously? Okay, what I was thinking about was... Hooking up a steam engine to a metal refinery. So we could just use that heat to mitigate the power cost and delete the heat while we're at it. It's not a whole lot of room to work with here. How much does it heat water up by? Does it say? Or does it vary? Status... Hang on. Uh, refinement... Metal refinery... I don't think it tells us. Significantly heats and outputs the liquid piped into it. Duplicants will not fabricate, blah blah blah. It's not going to tell us, is it? Describes inside the recipes. It, so it does vary from recipe to recipe. And it gives us it in kilojoules. Okay. Well, regardless, um, we definitely... When did I queue up all these? Did I, like, double-click this or something? Gold amalgam to gold. Definitely don't remember doing that. Oh... I did like 30 for each of these. I can wait. It'll be something like 75 degree dirty water. Okay. Is this thing really the only way? Or maybe the anti, anti maybe it wasn't such a dumb idea to build this ne next to the anti entropy thermo nullifier. Hmm. Okay. I have ideas. Let's disconnect this for now. Deconstruct that. What is that forbidden thing? Building disabled. That's the aqua tuner. Okay. You wouldn't know it from where this icon is. Um, what I might do, since we're getting a steady supply of hydrogen. Hi, am I being a good tube floor? <laughs> uh, Krenza. Thank wow, 11 months. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Ben Wu, good to see you again also. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Karenza. Uh, I don't remember a single time I had to tell you to please not kill yourself, so that's good. You've just been farming away, I think. 10 out of 10. I did not notice that it heats that much and dumped all that into my system. <laughs> it was working fine until dupes started to get burns from the shower. Ouch. So if we're getting a variable amount of heat from it, if I were to use aqua tuners... And then I have to delete the heat, or the aqua tuner explodes somehow. That implies a whole extra steam engine. Alternatively, I could take advantage of the thermo nullifier. 
um, but do a better job of it this time. So the first thing I want to do is mostly, is like half fill this liquid reservoir, I think. Let's just, you know what, can we just deconstruct this for the moment? And I'll run this up here. And I think, do I have a, yeah, there's our thermo sensor. Uh, I have a thermo sensor already. Gas shut off. I don't even remember what that's for. Oh, here it is. No, this is exactly what I had in mind already. So, green signal if temperature above five degrees. Could I also do a liquid pipe sensor? Liquid bridge up this way. Oh, we're going to remove this anyway. Whatever, it, it'll make it even easier. This should probably be insulated, actually. And... Best I can do is plus 15 degree overheat temperature. Can I swap this out for not copper? In case it gets hotter than expected? If I'm moving it, maybe I should put it somewhere else while I'm thinking about that. I should do a snaky... A snaky pipe through the... Uh, Anti-entropy thermo nullifier. And I want to run it as long as the water on this side is above X degrees. And then once we decide we don't have to cool it anymore, we can pump it into here. the idea anyway. I'm surprised how quickly they're building this. Um, if we're not going to use the thermo tuner, we can probably get rid of that for the moment. And let's make a liquid reservoir out of gold Amalgam. And I just realized I've gotten in the way of this pipe. We'll only be using it for a little while. It's fine. Don't think we'll be keeping that there. Probably. It'll be making way too much heat for the AETN. However, the ATN would cool down, would cool the turbine itself. Um, well, I'm not going to let the water past the AETN until it's cooled down enough, uh, basically. So we're going to bottleneck on being able to cool the coolant. And then, once we have this, uh, we're going to do something like... I don't know, like that. It's not quite lining up the way I want it to. How about this? This should be probably insulated, and this will go 
I don't want to get in the way of what that pipe's going to be doing later. Liquid bridge. Like so. I'll probably just go straight up there. We don't have a plant there, do we? No. Uh, and then we need a automatic valve. Liquid element. Christoph Game. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Don't build insulated pipes. Oh, not for this part. That's true. Regular pipe. Can I... I could make it thermally reactive for this part. Radiant is the best. I don't have... I, I don't want to spend metal on it. It's not going to be that big of a deal. Don't think. We're already putting gold amalgam into this. And come to think of it, I suppose. No, I do. I think I do want to keep that part as insulated. Okay. So first of all, we need to get some water into this thing. Well, first of all, we need to build it. Can we get that done, please? Anyone on the way to do that? Someone is... Supplying. There we go. Ben Wu. I don't know if completely filling it would be a bad thing, so... Seriously. So we'll just, like, half fill it. Or even less, since we're still running off of our reserves. For another 15 cycles. I'm surprised how far these reservoirs got us though, that's surprisingly good. Okay, perfect. Now the throughput's looking kinda... Oh, I see the problem here. It's not really a problem, we don't need high throughput with this. But it is going to take a little while. Just how much water does it want input for each of these recipes? I guess it doesn't say. Does it tell us... Over... Here? No, just liquid intake, liquid output... I guess I didn't fix that, did I? I did crank up the priority on powering this stuff. That doesn't seem to be the problem. We're bottlenecking on the water CF too much. Hmm. I could... 
This thing doesn't consume polluted water too quick. I could do 50-50. Shove that straight back into the... Into the network. Then we're going to waste a bunch of power on this going around in circles. What can you do? I still can't see the green on this just yet. Maybe... Well, I don't think this would have been possible, actually. Yeah, it would have been nice if I could have put the liquid reservoir directly behind this. Or maybe I should have got rid of the ladder... Wait, I could have deconstructed this for plastic before, couldn't I? How much do we get? Uh... What? Oh, here it is. Plastic... 50 per tile. So are you telling me if I deconstruct four of these tiles, I can make a steam engine? Or does it just not give it back if you haven't unlocked the technology or something weird like that? Anyway, uh, automation. I was looking for a thermosensor, but for liquid. Is it under pipes or plumbing? Liquid pipe. Liquid pipe thermosensor. Here we go. I can't actually put it here. And I can't fit it here anywhere, so it's probably a good thing they didn't finish building this, actually. Um... I guess like this. The most sensor can go here somewhere. And I want liquid shut off. Is this automated? Yeah, it looks like it. the way around. Uh, liquid pipe thermo sensor. Automation wire. I guess we don't have to worry about overheating. Doesn't None of this stuff is going to, like, snap when it gets cold, right? So we're not going to let water through the loop back to the metal refinery until it's cold enough. Compared to Factorio, how do you feel about this game? Uh, the thing I like about Factorio compared to this in particular is as complex as it ever gets, you only need to figure out one little thing at a time. With oxygen not included, you have to figure out seven things at a time while everyone is starving, suffocating, and running out of 17 different vital finite resources. Also, while dealing with duplicate stupidity and just the general problems of a colony sim game. Um, it's not a great combination for figuring out new engineering problems. But it does have some unique... well, as far as I know. Uh, oh, yuck. Uh, it does have, you know, the, uh, it does have some puzzles that are a bit more physics-based. And, and and not like, like, like gas and temperature and stuff like that. Um, I haven't seen a whole lot of games give you that to work with before.
Does this need power? I don't think so. Oh, it, it needs 10 watts. Okay. Have your 10 watts. And that's about the amount of liquid that I want to see in here. So let's get rid of that bridge. And actually, let's get rid of this tile. And I guess this can go here, or just like this. And probably a bridge down this way, I suppose, or maybe... I don't think there's a universe where I'm pumping liquid up this way. Probably. Right now I'm trying to build an industrial block in my game. Half of it I designed in my game because that defined my constraints. The rest I'm designing in sandbox in another map. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking about doing that, but on the other hand it feels like... Like, it, it feels like I'm just able to skip ahead and... I don't want to say cheat, that's not it. But it seems like part of the challenge of this game is what I just described. So if I can just, like... But on the other hand, like, the amount of time I've spent just trying to get a steam turbine working, and it turns out, surprise... The thermo aquatuna needs to meet, be made of something else. Surprise, 100 degrees steam doesn't count. Surprise, the steam turbine of all things can overheat, even though it says overheat temperature 980 degrees. Uh, it just won't work if the steam turbine itself is like, what, 100, 125 degrees or something? Um, that's not a whole lot of fun to keep running into during a game. No matter how well you design it in a sandbox, it will be a challenge to build because of how things behave in real time without instant building and dupe stupidity. So you still have the challenge of building it, yeah. Uh, didn't I add something? They didn't build it yet. Okay. That was ages ago I queued this up. How's it not being done? There's some small tutorial. Yeah, I don't want to look at tutorials. That's the thing. Not for the first playthrough. In so far as it's possible, um, I want to figure it out as I go. Did you queue it up with a material that's not available? Uh, no, it should be made out of something really common. Iron ore. We've got 16 tons. Alright, someone is supplying it. Someone is still supplying it. There we go. It has to be supplied again. Where are they taking it from? Oh, don't tell me. Surely... I don't think the iron is all down here or anything, is it? I see iron on the ground. That's not encouraging. Metal or iron ore. This is full. Oh, it's not necessarily full of iron ore. Okay. Um. Hmm. I think I need to... 
deliberately make room for storage next time I build as well. As in next game. Oh, I can't just copy this with the settings, can I? I guess. Printables. Uh, sure, why not? Take a few mirth leaf seeds. Can they reach this? Probably not. Maybe not. Be surprised if they couldn't actually. Three tiles up. No. Yeah, I think it's only the ceiling these guys wouldn't be able to reach, right? No point deleting that. Did they build this? They did. Finally, we have water in the bathrooms again. Who needs kitchen and bedroom layouts, man, when your run is ruined because you did not build the thing of the right material? That is just ridiculous and never should be the case. You could improve things by using different materials or combination of, I don't know, something. Yeah, we're not, we're nowhere near making nice bedrooms. I mean, unless you count molding as including, as having nice bedrooms. They still haven't built a single piece of this conveyor rail. Gold amalgam. We've got 15 tons of that. Other things that I've told them to build that I haven't prioritized have gotten built. Oh, there's probably, like, one person who can build conveyor rail. Um, what does it take to build it? Mechatronics engineering. Like, we've got one person. Oh, it happens to be... Whiskers. Does Whiskers also have to have construction or something? Or have I just... Let's see... Priorities... Whiskers... Construction is probably quite low. Where is it? Why can't I see construction? Building. Because it's not called construction. Yeah, okay, so his priorities for that relatively are really low. Um, so I guess I have to make this super high priority to make it happen. Or at least higher than normal. Is that molding or molding? <laughs> Indeed. Taking quite a while to get these pipes done as well. Uh-oh. How did that happen? Probably some ice melting. I hope next time we get the ice area with the anti-entropy thermo nullifier below or to the side of the base. That would be nice. Can we rummage this? Might take a while.
We already came through here, or did we? Oh, there's nothing to rummage, I just have to use inspect. Do that in a bit. Oh, and we get a snazzy suit. Uh, who should have the snazzy suit? Who gets seen by people the most? Uh, good question. Well, I guess it's going to have to be someone who can come and get it. Unless I put it in storage. This doesn't even matter. What am I doing? We'll worry about that in a bit. How much did we... Oh, we finished these recipes. Nice. So, iron to steel. We can do seven recipes here? Wait, really? 15.9 tons. 70 kilograms out of 730. What? What does this mean? Oh, no, it's saying we've got 730 kilograms. Okay. Oh, that's iron as opposed to iron ore. Uh, okay. So we can do, like, 10 more recipes. Which means we need to make more iron. And we've got 19 recipes worth of lime, uh, plenty, uh, more than 20 recipes worth of carbon. All right, cool. We just need to get the loop working here. construct that comfy bed for 200 plastic. That's good to know. If it is plastic, sometimes it's made of impossible materials. Uh, do you mean impossible as in stuff that we could never make a comfy bed out of? Can I see what it's made of? Yeah, here we go. Obsidian. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Would that be one of those impossible materials? Ladder. Properties. Plastic. So these ones... Uh... You're telling me I could have deconstructed these for plastic all that time ago? 50 kilograms each, so four of these is a steam engine. That's a comfortable bed, alright? Indeed. Did we actually get that built? Nice. Alright. So... In about 44 days, we're gonna finish building this. Maybe a bit longer. If we don't want to get scalded. We're probably gonna get a bit scalded. That's not good. Well, you can try the ladders. Are the ladders sometimes built out of impossible stuff as well? Is conveyor built? It should be. It is not, actually. So am I actually going to have to... I hope I don't actually have to change Whiskers' priorities just to get that done. Or was it Whiskers? Oh, I was looking at Undead Hunt. I think it was Whiskers. Whiskers, Mechatronics Engineering. Uh, priorities. Building is, like, neutral. 
Well. I guess you got very high priority building now. Isn't he still going to do operating first? I guess building has to... Wait, what? Has to take priority? I mean, attacking doesn't... What is life support? Maintain the algae terrariums, deodorizers, water sieves to support colony life. There we go. So now what? Do we build... Conveyor... Do we have to put like a cart on it or something? Or how does this work? It looks like... Okay, judging by the way the filter is, it looks like it works just like water pipes or something like that. Water or gas. Loader, as in sweep... Oh, conveyor loader. Okay. I guess... Like this? Do we need an unloader, or will things just drop off at the end? Receptacle. That is... Okay. That's probably... That's probably it, right? Wait, 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 wait. What did I just tell you to deconstruct? My bad. Uh, shipping? I need the overlay. That's what I meant to do. Think of loader as a storage bin that outputs to the rail. Okay. How's our oxygen? It's still bad. But we're not dead, surprisingly. I guess it's not that surprising since our electrolyzers have been working. How are we still picking up, like, chlorine or whatever this is? This should have been emptied ages ago. Is something off-gassing chlorine? It looks like it. Emitting chlorine. Bleach stone. Oh. I don't know how we even got bleach stone. Oh, I guess we just dig this. Do I need to store this underwater so it doesn't off-gas? Um... Well... I'm not terribly organized here, but maybe... Yeah, we do have some room here. Let's get rid of that. Oh, and I meant to copy-paste these settings. Maybe I could put not just slime, but also bleach stone in here? Yuhan, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I usually store anything that off-gasses into overpressurized atmosphere of its type or water. Okay. Where do I find the leech stone in the list here? Leech stone solid... And, uh, D-Hose, thank you for the fault. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Raw mineral? No. Miscellaneous? No. Can I not put bleach stone in a storage bin? Oh, there's more. Derp. I don't think it's a metal. It's not a filtration medium. It's not an egg. 
Compostable? I don't think so. Agriculture? No. It is listed as consumable ore. Okay. Thank you. Do you play Minecraft by chance? Uh, not for a long time. There's probably about a million things added to Minecraft that I wouldn't recognize at this point. Uh, I don't think we want a pufflet, do we? Excrete lumps of slime, but don't they consume all of our oxygen? Polluted oxygen becomes slime. That's good. O uh, chlorine becomes bleach stone. Oxygen becomes oxalite, but we lose a bunch of it. If I could control where he goes... There is a bunch of crap in the air. But isn't he going to suck up the oxygen as well? Brainless Society. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think I'll skip it for now. I've got enough things to worry about. We've also got some puffs flying around if we really want to wrangle them ourselves. Yeah, th this is a problem slash help that we've already got, so we'll leave that for now. Lest it scale out of control. get our pipes. We did get our pipes. Wait. What? The waiting coolant? Are you telling me like a third of this uh, liquid reservoir was not enough coolant? How is your oxygen production? Breathability is really low. Yeah, I know. It's up here, but we're having some problems. Um, where did the water go? Don't tell me it's in here and it wasn't enough. Awaiting coolant. Does it tell us how much it has? 400 kilograms of liquid must be present. I think we had significantly more than that. Okay, whatever. We'll have to... I don't particularly want to steal from these reservoirs. Actually, this thing's starting again in nine cycles. We should be okay. I should probably hoover up some more slime and algae, though. don't particularly want to take from there. They can't jump up there if I get rid of this, can they? Um, I guess we could... Go up here. They're not going to be able to reach that. Go like that. Take that gold amalgam. Looks like the coolant evaporated. I don't think that's what happened. It doesn't get that hot. Insulated liquid pipe is broken. It's made out of igneous rock. I don't think we could do better than that. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think we're gonna have to... take from this again. What metal were you processing? Steel. We need 1200 steel just to make a single aqua tuner that'll work for a steam engine. Maybe... <laughs> Maybe we'll get random free steel from printables now that we've produced an amount of it. That went into steam. Then why does it have a liquid output pipe? Polluted oxygen... There's no steam in here. So many things on that one tile. Where is our water? Okay, why is water not coming up this way? Oh, because I put the... Because I put this facing that way, that's why. Which made sense at the time. I think I should probably get rid of this tile. Put a bridge facing the left, and then we'll just run regular pipe up this way. Must be why dudes are too busy to do anything constantly repairing that pipe. No, they would have neglected it. Anyway, it's broken now and they're not repairing it. Okay. I guess there's going to be empty space here, no matter what, until we actually run those recipes. So I don't actually have to worry about overfilling that reservoir. Coal is only down to 9.4 tons. Not as bad as expected. Oh. Wait, no, this is... This output is just for the bridge. So why is water not... Huh? Water should be coming here as well. I haven't changed it. It was... Water was coming from here up this way before. What on earth? Alright, I guess we're changing all these pipes. Let me just make sure the reservoir isn't marked for deconstruction. It's not. On the plus side, this place isn't scolding anyone these days. Alright. Actually, I'll wait till that's done. Now the water's going up. Alright, so... I guess I could... Oh, I could, I could just do it this way, right? Would that be okay? I think probably yes. Yeah, that's simpler than expected. I was about to go, like, in here, out here, in here, out here, in here, out here, but we don't have to do that.
Alright. Get it done, please. Technically functions that way, but not ideal. Yeah, but we didn't need high throughput for the electrolyzers. Until it decided to start being weird with the exact same layout. We're getting oxygen back down here again, but hopefully it's not too little too late. Uh, we're fine. We've got room to breathe in the bedrooms. It's probably going to be okay. Probably. And only nine, uh, eight point three cycles until we get our free water here again. Why is no one repairing this? I'm spending an awful lot of time gasping for breath. Hey, Zavoxful. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is there any material left to repair it? Uh, what is it made of? It should be... Yep, there it is. Igneous rock. We've got lots of that. We have 14,000... No, we have 145,000 igneous rock. And someone just spent... Less than 1% of the time required to repair that. Cool. Doing good, thanks you. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Repair is the only way to waste material. Indeed. We're getting a trickle of oxygen. It's not enough. Wait, is that chlorine? Why is it chlorine? Oh right, the bleach stones. Why haven't we moved them yet? Bleach stone. 440 kilogram. I guess I just have to crank up the priority. And... Mark it as sweet... My priority... Wait, what? No, 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 no. Cleaning? There we go. Please stop producing chlorine in these rooms. Uh, we've got some water going up there. No? Oh, there's one, the one piece of pipe that we really need isn't there. Okay. There we go. Give me that oxygen. That's more like it. And we're removing the bleach stones. We are... Well, we're cooling the pipes anyway. Why isn't the water going up here? Into this thing. Because of the bridge. No, the bridge goes from here to here, and that tile doesn't do anything on the reservoir. And then this pipe continues past the bridge up to here. Game sees the output first. Ugh. 
OFFS. Okay, let's remove this for a second and see if that's how it really works. Heat damage. It's not even... The metal refinery isn't even operating right now. Is it just the heat from the coal generators? How much heat do they produce again? 9k DTUs. That's like... What, two-thirds of what this does when it works. But why is it this tile in particular? Metal refinery is still outputting the hot coolant from the last job. Why would it still be doing that? Water. 32 degrees. That's not that hot. Water. I can't even see it. There's too much stuff. Water. Liquid. That's all I can tell about the water in this tile right now. What about this tile? 29 degrees. If you click on the refinery, it'll say what's inside. Water, 67 degrees. That's not that hot. Wait, there's like several different waters. 66 degrees. 67 degrees. 120 degrees. 1400 kilo. How? Why? Why are there three different sets of water in there? Alright, can we get this filled up? Wait a sec. I didn't even get to set this yet. Green signal if below... I don't know, 5 degrees. Wait, what are we setting this to? Five degrees. Yeah, no, that should be about right. So now we're not letting the water through. It was already at 66 degrees, actually. Well, that's a problem. Over a ton of water to cool down a hundred kilogram piece of metal. Apparently... <laughs> Yeah, that's how that works. Someone's stressed out. <laughs> he certainly looks it. Um, bio? No. Properties? No. Status? Stressed? Stress 96%? Sopping wet, low oxygen? Is that it? That can't be all. How did your stress get to 96%? Slime lung, sopping wet, hungry, holding breath, tired, low oxygen, bed rest. Okay. Alright, do we have just about enough water in here? How much do we have? 2,000 kilos, that's... Considering this has like 1,400 on the output... Yeah, maybe I should stop it now. Deconstruct that pipe. And hurry up, please. I guess I could have just put the bridge here as well. That would have done it. Alright. So we are slowly cooling down. Oh, that pipe's insulated. That wasn't... That wasn't supposed to be insulated. 
I distinctly remember changing this to regular pipe obsidian? I don't think so. Wait, how do we have 1400 obsidian? It seems like a lot. Uh, sedimentary rock, thermally reactive. That's what I was going to go for. Do you notice the pipe going through the liquid shutoff? That will nullify it completely. What do you mean by nullify it? Oh, the fact that... Except... The liquid isn't flowing. I, I see what you mean. The pipe goes from here to here. However... It is blocking it right now. Isn't Radiant Pipe for Heat Exchange? I just don't want to spend the metal if it's overkill. I think Basic Pipe with um, the Thermally Reactive uh, Sedimentary Rock should probably be okay. Let's see what we get. Yeah, it's dropping. It doesn't have to be super fast. So now behind the sensor we've got... It's dropping. Is blocking because everything is blocked. What do you mean by that? There should be no pipe between the entrance and exit of the liquid shutoff, and yet it seems to work. I would have to just delete both of these sections of pipe to change it. It's going to be a while. So... I guess just to get you to stop talking about it, we can do that. Okay. So now, how do we actually get someone to fix this? I set that duty to priority 9 ages ago. Uh, that's not what I meant. Let's have a look at this errand. Uh, here we go. Available errands none? What? Liquid insulated pipe, made of igneous rock, errands none. Is that not what's broken? The insulated liquid pipe is what's broken. Top priority, awaiting repair delivery, igneous rock. Ig -ne igneous rock. 186 tons. People are allowed to go through the door. I'm pretty sure it's mealtime, no work done. When it's an emergency? Oh, here we go. Um, what? It's still broken. It's still top priority. Why did the siren stop? Every time they repair it, the water goes through and breaks it again. I'm not convinced they finished a single repair job. Okay, there we go. Well, what the hell am I supposed to do? You're telling me the most insulated pipe I can make is just going to instantly get destroyed by heat again. 
break the refinery? Won't that, like... That's not gonna, like, destroy a recipe halfway done or something, is it? I guess not. I guess we can try that. A plumber can remove liquids from the machines. Oh, really? Cancel. Empty storage? Uh, let's see what that does. Check the refinery info screen. If the 120C water is less than 1400 kilograms, that is proof they re repaired the pipe. I mean, I don't doubt that, considering what we just saw. Uh, what screen was it? That's a lot of errands. Status? The refinery info screen. It was somewhere really specific. I had to mouse over something. It's not errands. It doesn't seem to be details. Looks like the water's all out now. Uh, because they got the empty job done? Or no, they didn't. And that's a whole lot of steam. Okay. I guess we'll be running the AETN for a while. Now it's damaged. It's damaged from overheating. <sighs> Why was it... If I need to put a liquid output pipe on this thing to make it work, why was it able to run, like, apparently 1,200 recipes and overheat to the point of melting with when the liquid had nowhere to go? We somehow cooled things down? I don't know how this cold liquid got out. But that helps, I suppose. It must have been taking more and more from that liquid storage. No, but the output should have been blocked. We need to... Oh, I can't even... Okay, can we open this? What a mess. We even got a whole lot of liquid down here because, I guess, steam? This ice is starting to melt. The water pipe contents are trending toward cold, though, at least.
You think it was ice melting that cooled this down? How did the ice, how did the cold water get in here though? I'm just glad we've got the AETN. On second thought, I don't regret building the metal refinery next to this thing. There's a piece of ice at the bottom of the refinery. I see. Even while that output pipe was, like, melting. Do you think there'll be a day when we see a perfect colony with all the systems working perfectly on your stream? Uh... 2077. Look forward to it. So we've still got all of this queued up, cool. And we're not letting the coolant in unless it is cold. We've got no... where can I see the fluids again? Waiting for materials... awaiting coolant... Uh, oh, here it is, contents. It's down at the bottom of status. So there's no fluid in here at the moment. Good, that's what I want to see. So we're going to keep running the AETN until the contents of the pipe are below 5 degrees. Uh, once that happens, we're going to get a green signal here. We're going to let the water through, and we're going to have some nice cold coolant. Made a note in my calendar? Fantastic. Why am I sweeping this? There's no need. How much steel do we have? Only 500. We're less than halfway to getting our one aqua tuna. Also, the steam is... I mean, it's getting colder, but it's taking its sweet time. At the very least, I just want it to be less severe when we let this stuff out. Stress 100%? That's not ideal. Why are you so stressed? Cold air? Low oxygen is probably the main thing. Soggy feet. Change per cycle? What is that supposed to mean? Alright, have we finally stabilized for the moment? I think now's probably a good time for a little break, right? Should probably close that. Oxygen is still bad, but we do have a supply of it coming down now, at least. Not as much as I would like to see. There's no shortage of water. So it's really just the power loop that's not good enough yet. With the hydrogen reinforcing itself. If we have the steam turbine contributing to this... Um, it'll probably be going full speed by now. 
Keep in mind that all that steam is compressed. And when you open it, something bad might happen. Yeah, we did have that happen before. That's why I'm waiting for it, ideally, to go all the way back to water. But it's going to take a while. But on the other hand, so is getting our steel that we need for the aqua, uh, aqua tuna. Who just got scolded? Loader mostly. Wait, it says there's like one, two, three, four, five. Oh, there are five people who are damaged. Ouch. Sloder and whoever else. I can't believe they're still getting scolded so regularly. Maybe replace one of the corners with metal tile? Metal tile? Where? Oh, you mean to let the heat out of here? That might not be the worst idea. They'll do a block swap there, right? Wait, what metal should we use? Does it matter? Copper's got plus 50 overheat, high thermal conductivity, that's what we're looking for. That is not corner. Um, I mean, I want, I want the temperature to get out of there. Why would I use the corner, though? I can't believe how long this is. I guess it's dripping from up here as well. Which is dripping from up here as well. Okay, I see how it is. Corners can grab heat diagonally. Okay. Is that quicker than what this would do? Anyway, I think now's a good time. Let's take a little break and throw up some words on stream. We'll start that in about 30 seconds. Liquids and gases don't move diagonally. Uh, but the heat could, right? I imagine. Even if indirectly. Anyway, uh, words on stream will start in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck and have fun.
two off. Rip. Uh, let's continue, shall we? Just pause that for now. Now, where were we? We were putting uh, metal towels here so that we can let this heat escape so that we don't have steam in here anymore so that we can perform some maintenance. And I guess as usual I'm going to crank the priority on that until it's done. What's our temperature over here? Should be about the same here. It's like two degrees higher. Sixteen point six degrees. Man, as a not native English speaker, some of the words I don't even know what they mean, and I wouldn't consider my English bad. Uh, that goes for English speakers as well. Uh, native and English speakers as well, Drew. Sometimes. It's a little bit random. Sometimes the early levels are surprisingly difficult. Boofy, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, raiders. Rimworld, how was your stream? Food is getting very low. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Is it because we're too hot still? Body temperature, yes it is. Oh crap. We haven't been running a cooling loop because... Because the steam engine hasn't been working. Alright, well... How quickly is this cooling off? Somewhat quickly? I just got the game two days ago, and man, it got me hooked the last two nights till 3am, so I'm working very, very tired at the moment. <laughs> okay. Took many slaves, and two of my viewers have become cyborg killers. Rimworld things. Killer cyborgs, yes. Yeah, I kind of figured. Always makes you go just one more cycle, indeed. What are we up to? Still 111? It's flickering on different tiles. What just happened? Oh, this is... F Wait, what? There's no way for this gas to escape. Okay. Let's fix that. Time is running low. 600 calories. Where am I going to get more food? I think we're already harvesting. Well, I could make some burgers. Let's do that. Um, all of the hatches. Down the hatch. We're going to leave the eggs behind. Sorry, hatches. Got these wild ones as well, I guess. Oh, did that one just... Never mind. Have calories back up for a minute. Are we not cooking these fungal spores? Yeah, we are. 
Mushroom. Oh, is the fungal spore the seed for a mushroom? That makes sense. Irrigation? Oh, here it comes. Here comes the irrigation. Fantastic. Alright. Why? Why are these damaged? That is what's damaged, right? Yeah, it has to be. Why doesn't why does it give me the information about why it's damaged? I mean, as, I assume it's because it's too cold, but like we only we only aimed for five degrees. It's still at six degrees here. What is that alien-looking thing? Uh, the anti-entropy thermonullifier? You just put hydrogen into it and it makes things cold. Deletes heat somehow. It also deletes hydrogen. Take that. Laws of thermodynamics. Don't worry about it. But yeah, I only... I, I, I set the target temperature quite high here, 5 degrees. That is significantly above freezing. I know the sensor's up here as opposed to here, but still. What? I've never found any of those? Uh, you just gotta dig out some more cold biomes, I guess. You are lucky, I suppose. Waiting repair delivery sedimentary rock. Wait, I set the temperature even higher, it's still going. What's the temperature of this water? 35? Okay, never mind. 46, 42, 38, 47, 48. Yeah, that's quite warm. There is always one or two in the main asteroid. As in the starting world, I guess. Alright, when do we get our steel? How much... Don't tell me we're still on 500 kilograms. We're still on 500 kilograms. Because we're waiting on this to cool, I guess. It doesn't say anything about low temperature limits. But if I did make the pipes out of metal, would they actually be more resistant to the cold? That sounds very counterintuitive. Radiant pipes pumping cold liquid can be run through hot areas. Yeah, so can any pipe, but this is more so. The game just does not give you enough information. Material does not matter if the liquid does a state change. We set this to 5 degrees, how could it have done a state change? Wait a sec. No, no, no. It's... I mean, this one. This was already set to 5 degrees. Is the temperature difference between those tiles really that extreme? 
Nine point oxygen, eight point five degrees. It's fluctuating a lot. Why is it fluctuating that much? Oxygen negative two. Okay. In that case. I don't know, if the contents of the pipe are still at 30-something... This is still 40... 17... Maybe we should go by the coldest part. Six point eight versus twenty five. Uh, okay, maybe I should move the sensor and automation wire and deconstruct that. Wait, no. Wait, 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 wait. We want to let the water through when it's cold enough. Which, yeah, I should do that. However, we're not using this sensor to turn off the AETN. So I guess I'll crank up... Let's try 15 degrees. Okay, now it's run out of hydrogen, actually. Why is it not going up? Oh, is this shut off? Yeah, no, it is sending a red signal. Okay, cool. Oh, I think I realized something important. Just these few times, because the AETN only requires 10 grams a second of hydrogen, um, we actually have a significant buffer of hydrogen that can accumulate here. So maybe I should move the gas shutoff? I think that would probably be a good idea. And we're just going to run pipe up this way. That way we'll have a buffer of hydrogen here, as opposed to after the decision maker. I can't fit it there, that's why it's there. Uh, why are you like this? I guess this is the best we can do, therefore... Therefore, we do need to set this higher than we would think. So, I'll set it to like 20 degrees, and we'll see how that goes. Alright, can I get these repaired? TDs... Uh, I assume that red, yellow, green... Well, not assume, I think I remember that that's our input fluid. So we're just waiting on... Nothing. It's saying there's not enough wolframite, but... It's only referring to this recipe. Saying there's a problem. Someone just spent like a half a millisecond on... The steel recipe, I think. Coal is down to seven tons as well. I guess it's not that surprising, considering we just butchered all of our hatches. We do have 50k calories, though, for now. Alright, cool. So what's this temperature? 
75 degrees. And... I can't see what temperature... Oh, here it is. Somehow the liquid reservoir itself is like 6 degrees. Water coming out of here is 75. 15. 60. Wait, what? Oh no, I, that, that was 75.1 grams of water, apparently. Oh, there it is. Content. 68 degrees. Yeah, no, that's about what I would expect. Okay, cool. So that's working. Uh, except this water is still 68 degrees. What the hell? What? Um, don't tell me the liquid shutoff just works if it's not fed a signal of any kind. It's actually being fed both of those? That shouldn't matter. Oh, this is above 6.9. Well, there's your problem. Okay, um, can we empty this again? And then... Empty pipe contents. Very important, please get done. Look at your newest sensor, yeah. So apparently the liquid shutoff works if you just, like, it, it acts like a normal pipe if you haven't given it any sensor input yet. Or no, that's not right, necessarily. It was because this one was feeding it green. On the plus side, our oxygen loop is doing well. Base is actually filling up with air again. Shove vol three shove vol eggs. I think someone said I was very lucky to see uh, to even see one earlier. Shove vol regolith. Okay, it just destroys regolith. Dirt becomes dirt. Iron becomes less iron. How is this good? What does it do? Drill shaped structures. Huh? Big meat? Like 16k calories barbecue? But I have to feed it uh, something. Regolith I can get from way up here, but I haven't got... I mean, that's that seems dangerous. And difficult. Um, dirt we're going to run out of. You don't have to feed them anything ever? What? Those are awesome. You don't feed them, and they drop meat before dying? <laughs> Unless it was changed in the last patch. Uh-huh. So, that's an ethical meat supply, not... You're telling me I just lock them in a room and don't feed them, and they're gonna reproduce and die and give me meat. Totally broken. Comfort range is like anything. Make sure it's a metal surrounded room. Uh, so it's gonna spit out eggs, right? Yeah. Okay. How about... 
How many tiles is this? The usual. There's nothing in particular in here, is there? I guess there's no reason to groom them, right? Let's dig this out. In your food emergency, don't bother ranching them. What you mean just... I mean, we're getting eggs. They're gonna have to grow up first. I do groom them to increase the rate of reproduction. Let's see. How long until they hatch? Plus five, 20 cycles. Okay. Can we get someone to empty out this hot water, please? There we go. Wait, what? What are you doing? Operating? No. Bad. Not right now, please. Okay. Where is that water going? Is he putting it in a container or what? Alright. I think we needed at least one of these and six more of these, right? Yep. Seems good. They don't get overcrowded. Is that so? Well, I want to dig this out anyway. Let him build the floor first. Check how much time they're spending on travel versus work. There's not a whole lot I can do about it right now. I know we get, uh... Where would we even find it? Base? Here we go. Transit tubes. We're gonna need a whole lot of plastic. And also some refined metal, but that's not a big deal. 960 watts? No wonder I haven't built it yet. 960 watts for each transit tube access. So we basically need, like, to cover the universe in solar panels. Or something like that. Or we can do that. Uh, auto wrangle. No. Shove. Ball. Oh. There we go. Oh, and I should put like a storage bin and just request the shove vol eggs. They will leave that room? Oh, do I need like an airlock? Can they go through the... Oh, right, right, right. Over here. Metallic surrounding. 
It can go through regular tiles. Most natural materials. Tunnel through anything that isn't a metal... Metal or pneumatic door. Metal tile or pneumatic door. I'm glad the game's built-in wiki is lying to me then. I want to see it. I'll wrangle them afterwards. Wait, can they dig up here and be unreachable? How about this then? Metal tile. Let's line it with lead. That sounds healthy. Metal tile, lead. You know what? This will do for now. Um, go. And I'm just going to leave this here. And I want to try and witness it. It's going to be expensive. I mean, it's going to be... 100... We're going to have 1375. That is expensive. How about this? Alright. So, what temperature is it here? 18. Maybe I could also use an aqua tuna. If I put an aqua tuna here and let the pipe go from here to here, the water will have the option to go past it, but we can also use the aqua tuna, right? that. And I only want to run the aqua tuna. Maybe I should put it like here. I only want to run the aqua tuna if we need to cool the water some more, but it's not cold enough. Or rather, it's, it's not hot enough that we're going to run the AETN. Maybe I could just put it up here. I could even use the same sensor. I could have them mutually exclusive, or I could have a range in between them. That's probably a bit better. So, gold amalgam. And we need power... Uh, automation wire. Doesn't really matter what we make that out of. Is it going to be okay that the heat it generates is up here? I can't get much closer to the AETN. I could tear a bunch of this down again, just so I could put it, like, here. Does it need to be on a surface, or can it be, like, up in the air? If I put it somewhere like this... This would have to go here. And the sensor... I'd want the sensor as close to the AETN as possible, which I can't really do in this case. I could put it there, that'd be okay.
Actually, that wouldn't be that great. Because we'd be measuring mostly before it goes through the cooling part. Spaghetti spaghetti. Go to the oil biome and get some crude oil. I've got crude oil. You won't need an aqua tuna to run the refinery at all. The oil will get more than hot enough to run a steam turbine. Wait, the oil? Oh, you run the oil through the aqua tuna? It's already 80 degrees. Properties. Freezing point, very low. Thermal conductivity seems high, I guess. Back seating though? Yeah, every time with Oni. That's something I never would have thought of myself, or at least not for a long time. I think this will probably be close enough. This will heat this area up, cool the water. If we're too... If we're too cold to use the AETN, we'll use the Aqua Tuna. That'll heat things up. Once we get warm enough, we'll stop using the Aqua Tuna. And we'll use the AETN. That way we've always got something we can run to cool this water. Just cool the damn thing, why it needs to be so complicated, right? Because the uh, aqua tuna is just a heat pump. This thing actually deletes heat, but it gets so cold, uh, other things become a problem. Alright, we'll wait till they build that. How's our oxygen? Not that bad. Calories, 76,000. Nice. What critical resource are we running out of that we haven't even noticed? Coal is down to 7 tons. Uh, dirt, maybe? Dirt is at 24 tons. That doesn't sound like a lot. I don't know what dirt was at when I started tracking it. This is 1.7 tons. Okay, we can get an amount of it. Maybe I should explore more. That's probably a good idea. Let's just lower the priority on that a bit. I want it done whenever. I didn't give someone the snazzy suit. Let me just assign it 
and see if someone picks it up. Oxygen is looking pretty good. The whole color of the base is changing. Fantastic. Alright, I guess we are going to live long enough to see our 1200 steel. We've still got 600 to go. Oh. Yeah, well, that's because this hasn't... Kleshu, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This cool one thing which will cool other thing which you need to cool the main thing, but it will produce a ton of hot water which you need also to cool somehow. Try not to get a headache. Indeed. Alright, is this on its way to being built? Uh, errands. Yes, yes it is. Fantastic. We don't have chlor- Why is this busted? Overheat damage, there you go. Um, you know what? I don't see any reason why this needs to be insulated tile, to be honest. Yeah, it probably shouldn't be. Alright, let's do that. What is it in here still? 63, 62, 61. It's jumping back up. It's trending downward. I just saw it dip into the 50s. Umail Paguro, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Most of the time you don't have an access to oil though. Uh, I'm sure you have access to oil somewhere on the asteroid, right? Just have to dig more, probably. What did I get? Oh, mechanical surfboard. Uh, that means I need to pick something to get research out of the way. Let's get everything except for this art thing done. Oh, there's also multiplexing. Yeah, I don't know if... Okay, I think we're more likely to end up doing multiplexing sooner than rocketry at this rate. So I'll, I'll research that first. Oil stuff needs suits or you kill everyone. Uh-oh. Schlurpus. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Printables. I'll definitely take another snazzy suit. And I guess Bean can wear that. Did we get that snazzy suit assigned? We did not. Who can come down here? Uh, let's see. Skills. We've got five exosuit uh, suit wearers. So this is an exosuit? Atmo suit. Is, is an Atmo suit an exosuit or no? 
Anyway, um, one of the people who can wear that. Whiskers? Assigned. Oh. That was quick. Whiskers very keen to wear the snazzy suit. Very excited. Okay. Uh, Aquatuna. Wait. What's... Oh, good. That's fine, actually. Because I want to make sure I set... I need an inverter. Derp. Not gate, that is. Alright, let's remove this automation wire here. Add a not gate. And connect that like so. Wait, 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 wait. No, no. I'm I'm being lazy in my thinking here. This is the wrong signal. We're using this to decide if we're running the AETN, and I want the inverse of that signal. So, I'll actually just put the NOT gate next to it so that I can... Uh, then again. This might be a bit cleaner. Automation wire bridge. Up we go, and across like so. And don't forget this bit. Okay, cool. So when one of these is going to run, the other is not. Atmosuit is exosuit, okay. I am wearing one right now, indeed. So what happens with oil if you don't have an Atmo suit? I mean, it's... Does the Atmo suit protect, protect against heat or cold? I didn't see that earlier. Or maybe I forgot. Let's see. Atmo suit. That's, that's a lot of information right there. That's very helpful. find an atmos suit and look at the properties or something. Uh, status, contents, atmos suit. Oh, here we go, atmos suit. Supplies duplicates with oxygen, toxic and low breathability environments. Insulation, plus 50. That's what I wanted to know. Athletics, minus 6. Yikes. Uh, excavation plus ten, scalding threshold plus a million. Well then, I guess I could have put Atmo suits up here to prevent all that scalding earlier. It's got some polluted oxygen and germs in it. Oh no. Let me guess. No? We specifically filtered oxygen to it. How did this happen? I don't understand. Also... What is going on here? I don't know how that happened either. Oh, our geyser is active. Pumping out hot water. Did we get this bill? Hold on. Oh no, we didn't get the circuit, the, the logic built yet. There we go. Anyone has issues making a Twitch account using Yahoo? No idea. 
Good luck. Uh, Saban? Welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well. We are accumulating some hydrogen. Our gas pumps are probably not going to overheat now. Fantastic. Uh, we do still have only two and a half tons of lead, actually. Because I guess we built this thing, we didn't finish building it. And I didn't sweep up those eggs yet. Incubating. 20%. We got lots of time still. Uh, let's see. Critter egg. Shove vol egg. High priority. Ladder goes here. Or probably those two are enough. Actually, I guess this might not work for our experiment if they can't jump or climb or something. That might actually keep them in. If regular tiles normally don't. I'm guessing they probably walk up walls. Well, let's leave that there for a sec. They can walk on walls. Okay. Sweep the rest of this. Fantastic. How's our build up here? It is complete. Alright, so pipe blocked you say Oh yeah. Uh that's a problem. Okay. What if What if we have this go back here? Totally calculated, no spaghetti. I would never. Alright, there's our aqua tuna in much. Really? Awaiting repair delivery. Sedimentary rock. Damage overheating? Are you serious? You just started. You did like two operations. How am I supposed to manage that? A temperature sensor here wouldn't detect that. And we made it out of gold amalgam, didn't we? We did. That's the best we can do for increasing the overheat temperature. What's the temperature of this water? Oh, it, it doesn't matter.
I can't slap a sensor on the thermal aqua tuna itself. The tile next to it will take much, much longer to heat up. This literally ran for like a second before damaging itself with overheating. Pipe temp sensor and pipe bypass. What? If I submerge it in liquid, we're going to end up with steam. Unless I... Well, no, even if I do that, we're going to end up with steam. I could submerge it in liquid and measure the temperature of the liquid. It probably would just be a less bad version of if I measure the temperature of the air next to it. On the other hand, the temperature of this air right here is already hotter than I... Th this, okay, this is 42 degrees, and this is 14.6 degrees. One tile apart, both of them right next to the aqua tuna. 4.9 degrees. 4.9 no, the oxygen is, yeah, 4.9 degrees, 2.3 degrees, half a degree, 70, that's the water. No, that's the, the oxygen, 77 degrees. Uh, this tile is oxygen. Where is it? Is there no oxygen in this tile? What? Liquid pipe, heavy watt wire, liquid reservoir, water. Apparently this tile right here... ...doesn't have gas? Shouldn't it at least say vacuum? No. Um, I can't just give it a red signal as well. Like, red is the absence of a signal and green is a signal, I think is the way it works. Hmm. If I connect something to that, it's going to go over here. Why would you build such a thing without a... Without any mechanism in place for it not to cook itself? I can't, like... I can't detect when this is overheating fast enough to prevent it from overheating. What tools do we have at our disposal? We've got gas, liquid, and uh, whatever else, thermo sensors. But we have to put them on a tile that's away from what we're really worried about. If I were to have an arbitrary circuit, like a timer, force it to only be able to run for like a couple of ticks every once in a while, that wouldn't necessarily solve the problem. Even if I knew how to do that in Oni.
think I need to immerse it in liquid. I guess I could use this space. Yeah, I think I have to. What's it going to look like if I do this? Um, I guess I want to seal it in case. I should probably use uh, insulated tiles. I'm going to need a little bit more space than this because we need to... Why can't I flip it? There we go. I'm going to need a little bit more space because we need to detect the temperature. Rather than... It makes me want to move this battery so that I can put it closer to the anti-entropy thermo nullifier. It also makes me sad that this thermo sensor is way over here. Maybe I should move it. Ah, uh, that should be okay. Do we have another smart battery on this circuit somewhere? No. It shouldn't be a problem to move it, though. Let's say we do that. Let's make it out of lead, why not? actually more awkward than expected. Uh, we could just... Why can't I put it here? Oh, the ladder. Uh, it's going to get water on it all the time. I could put it where the current aqua tuner is. That's going to get water on it as well. That's also a different circuit. How hot can this thing get? 75 degrees normally. Uh, plus 50 degrees with what it's made out of. I probably don't have to worry about that then. So... Let's say... First of all, let's disable this. Then we'll deconstruct it. Get rid of this. I'll... I would love to leave the Abyssalite there, but... Just don't quite have the spacing to pull it off. And what I'm thinking is... Might need an end gate. So we get the not gate from here. We have two conditions. The AETN is not running because uh, it's too cold. And this thing isn't so hot that it's going to damage itself. Okay, so we're going to need to... Can I fit a tap? No, it's going to be... Yeah, 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 we could do that. That might be an easier way to fill this out. I don't actually need that. Alright, let's say we do this. Can I put an AND gate? I think I did this before. Just put an AND gate, like, behind the Thermo Aqua Tuna. And I can... I 
can't flip this, but I can rotate it. Looks like. I can't put it on top of that. This could work. Alright. Do I have to worry about overheat of automation wire? Apparently. Alright, let's make it out of gold or copper, I guess. So that's going to go there. That's going to go there. And that's going to go there. We're going to get rid of all this. Um, we're going to get rid of these pipes. We're going to run this pipe. We're going to fork it and run some of it through here. I think. Maybe I need to move or have another one of liquid reservoir. And we're going to have a sensor. Uh, I guess a liquid sensor? Not in the pipe. Is it just going to be like a thermo sensor? Is that what I did here somewhere? No. I think the thermo sensor I used here was... Oh, yeah. Exactly like that. Okay. So the thermo sensor is going to be right next to the aqua tuner. That'll emit green signal if we're below some temperature. Probably like... I don't know how much, actually. Like 10 degrees, 5 or 10 degrees below overheat temperature. Uh, and the other condition is that we're not running the AETN. And apparently, I need to prioritize just switching this thing off. Oh, is that Abyssalite? Yeah, it is. Let's, let's not get rid of that. Except I'm going to have to if I put the wire there. Uh, we can probably do better. Something like a bridge here. That'll work. Yeah, that seems good. All right, priority, high, all of it, please. I wonder how it took so long to have this kind of trouble just cooling the, uh... Maybe I didn't queue up that many jobs all at once, effectively, with the metal refinery previously. That's why it didn't overheat as much. Uh, we're actually really, really accumulating hydrogen, finally. Oxygen is flowing constantly. Base doesn't look that great yet, actually, but... Oh, it's getting there. Yeah, there's a lot of places for the oxygen to fill up first. Did I rummage this earlier? Yeah, I did. Perhaps we should dig over there. How is there carbon dioxide in here? This is exposed to space right there. But we got carbon dioxide just sitting here. 
indefinitely. He's getting scalded. Oh, I guess the water guys are doing its thing. Yeah, this place is heating up like crazy. Max gas pressure. Oh, this thing... Wait, what? Temperature... It's kind of hot. Maybe I should have done this while I was at it. it shouldn't be that hot in here. It's high 50s. Suffocating. Uh-oh. Wait, what? Are you seriously telling me you're stuck here? Bruh. Bruh. Whiskers. You should have been able to do all that without even jumping down here. First thing I see is someone dying. Undead hunter. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all of this... Oh, it was probably the automation wire right here. They probably could have done it from here, but they chose to jump down where they can't get out. And... Oh, I guess... There's actually no reason to build that. I need to deconstruct this. Oh god, he's so low on oxygen already. Deconstruct. Go. Hurry up. Ladder. Go. No! Who's doing it? Construction supply, undead hunter. And someone should be able to rescue Wh uh, Whiskers. Dead? What? You only just fell over. Are you serious? Unbelievable. You literally, you could have built this automation wire from down here. Instead, you jumped into a hole full of carbon dioxide that you couldn't get out of. Death in his own feces? Rip whiskers, indeed. Like, that was... There was only one way to screw that up. And, and, and you chose... You chose death. Oh. oh my goodness. I can't take my eyes off you for ten seconds. Like, you should never have had to jump down there in the first place. Absolutely ridiculous. He let it rip, and now it may he rip. And he left us a present. Well. Dupes can't reach higher than three tiles. I know, but he shouldn't have had to jump down there. Like, this is only three tiles high. They can definitely build the third tile up. 
Otherwise, uh, maybe I'm wrong about that. Let's let's run an experiment. One, two, three. This one. Building or supplying. Doesn't say unreachable. One, two, three. They're standing on this, right? As if, same as if it was a a tile. One, two, three, fourth tile up. Uh, how do I illustrate this? One, two, three, fourth tile up. Waiting delivery. It would say unreachable under errands, right? Not allowed by schedule. I was going to replace this with something like gold amalgam. I think now would be a good time. And maybe this one as well. Spicy tofu. Well, that's a lot more calories. And we're getting scalded again. Alright. Liquid Reservoir, Gold Amalgam. They should avoid getting cooked. Quinn, please get healed. Actually, let me check that no one else is lower. Quinn's the only one who's been hurt. Apparently, I am Sark has been hurt. But I scroll again, and I see nothing. Oh, was that food poisoning? That's Damsel. I'm curious, why is it letting I am Sark come to the cot? Wait, what? Where is he? Am I missing something? Beldak, Bean, Morpheus, Sheep, Say, Meh, Rowan, Renza, Happens, Nerita, Undead Hunter, Damsel, Kevin DK, Ben Wu, Sloda, Quinn. That's everyone under vitals. So it just isn't listing I am Sark? Is that him? And oh, that's Quinn. Why is our s You're joking. I definitely... No. This happened a while ago, and they still haven't... I thought we solved this mystery. Like, did we have to assign him? And I thought we did that? It's got errands. Ladder is built. Oh, so many graves. Ladder goes here. There should be no issue. 
Yeah, I forgot I am Sark died literally centimeters away from the triage cot, being carried back into it, and just dropped out of the sky. Is it okay, so we're gonna unassign that. And then click on this. Nothing. How do we get the first one? Assigned. Status. Rip shot. Status. Do I have to click this? No. Nothing. Don't you need a new dupe? No, we have two met. It did get built. So he definitely could have built uh, the automation wire here. That He could have built it from here. Instead he jumped into a pit of CO2 with no way out. I think it can only be assigned to dead dupes. Uh, he is dead. Uh, I am Sark is deader than a doornail and has been for quite some time. Today's net stress is 0%. Well, silver lining. Um, I thought we figured this out, like, at the end of the last stream, maybe? There was supposed to be somewhere that I had to assign him? I don't remember having any trouble giving Jean his uh, memorial. Hello, Pod. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Scalding. Uh oh. What? Why would you go back in there when you've already. No. Bad. I think I need to add a door here just to ban them from going in there. I could say the same of this spot right here. Obstructed by heavy what wire, of course it is. Do a junction connect like that. Remove those two. Did we lose the steam in here yet? 109. Nope, it is taking forever to cool down. Probably doesn't help that this area is getting hotter because the geyser is doing its thing. won't power this just yet. Alright, I'm forbidding people going upward through here. What? 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 It is rotated to the right, right? Seems like it. What temperature should this be allowed to reach? Overheat temperature 175 degrees. However, we have to take into consideration that even with this full of fluid, um, let's just set this to like 80 or something. If the water that we put in here... Actually, I should leave the polluted water. Um, we're gonna do... Bottle emptier. 
Am I going to drop off polluted water there? I'm just going to scrub it up. I'm sure we'll find some lying around. Like here. Provides a final resting place for deceased duplicants. Automatically place an unburied corpse inside. Well, apparently they don't. Do I have to take clothes off them or something? Carried items, none. I would imagine they just take them anyway. Don't tell me that's been hitting morale this whole time, because they keep seeing dead bodies. Virtual Planetarium. Conducts interstellar research to unlock new tech. Consumes data from telescopes and research modules. Well, we're not there yet. Uh, I don't know what I unlocked here. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Arcade cabinet. 1.2 megawatts. Oh, sorry, kilowatts. Megawatt would be a little bit over the top for this game. Low morale, no shit Sherlock, indeed. Mil Dorado. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Signal counter. How many times a green signal has been received? Up to a chosen number. When the chosen number is reached, it sends a green signal until it receives another green signal and resets. Interesting. Memory toggle. Contains an internal memory and will output whatever signal is stored in that memory. Signals sent to the inputs only affect the memory and do not pass through to the output. Sending a green signal to the set port... We'll set the memory to green, setting a green signal to the reset port. We'll reset it back to red. Nice. XOR. Burying dead duplicants reduces health hazards and stress on the colony. Living duplicants will automatically place an unburied corpse inside. Mm-hmm. Allegedly. And just to be clear, there's no prioritization level I can put on this. Can I prioritize this thing? Okay, let's try that. Errands? Oh, finally. One would think it would just be sort of built in that that would be a high priority since it happens... Even in the worst uh, save, it would happen quite rarely. Relatively. But apparently, uh... I don't know. Apparently fetching a pail of water is a higher priority <laughs> than putting a corpse underground. Just implicitly. Rip whiskers. Alright, so how about this bottle emptier? Building flooded. Get out of here. And then... I think I need to disable this bottle emptier for polluted water for now.
duplicants have died. No kidding. Alright, let's mop this up. There should be only one place that we're bringing polluted water that's mopped up at the moment, I think. Uh, or rather, there is... No, that's petroleum. Polluted water. I think I did the same thing here. No? It's in a different order! Crude oil, petroleum, polluted water, salt water, water. What? Now it's different? Game's gaslighting me. It's fine. You won't sneak that past me. Alright, so no polluted water being dropped off at this bottle emptier. We're going to fill this with polluted water. Uh, I hope we can get enough just by scrubbing. I mean, I'm sure if we look all over the place, we can, but hopefully we don't have to go that far. Oh wait, I just realized. The... Oh, the pitcher pump doesn't even reach the water. We're getting low. We're also getting more actual water as opposed to polluted water, so that's good. Might have to actually pump some up again. Flooded, poisoned, suffocated, exposed to extreme temperatures, and in the end, death in your own pit. <laughs> this colony has all kinds of attractions. Yeah. Where else could you um, enjoy all of those things? I haven't actually seen anyone doing this yet. Do I need to prio it? Probably. This as well, please. And... Well, we'll see if it comes to having to go that far. I just don't want to have to go to the trouble of using a pump and everything for this. Highest stress, 51%. That's more like it. And we've actually got water in the bathrooms. Fantastic. It's too hot to grow food because we haven't been doing our cooling loop for 700 years. Because we can't get 600 more steel. Because every little thing we try to do in this game produces new problems. Uh, let's deconstruct that. What are we printing, if anything? Omelets? Oh, what's this? Purple polyester. Fantastic. Amazing. Beautiful. Uh, let's get our automation wires finished before we connect power. We've already done that, actually. So we're doing not running the AETN and temperature below 80 degrees. Uh, I should probably make sure we fill it with water before I... Before I put in the uh, electrical connection, actually. See for cat. Thank you for the rate. 
Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, Raiders. How's your stream today? Soulburn. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Why are they taking so long just to mop this stuff up? Insufficient oxygen generation. Indeed. You know, I really thought we'd be dead by now. And I'm not going to say I'm disappointed that I don't get to start a new save with a whole lot less spaghetti and knowing more of what I'm doing. Raise a K. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. No sheep were hurt during Seif's stream. No sheep. Looks like an early run. Uh-huh. I mean... It, it, I'm, I'm staying more or less as blind as I can. Uh, and just trying to figure out things without resorting to the wiki or anything like that. And oxygen not included. Uh, I'll give it a 3 out of 10 for giving you all the information you need. Okay, that's not fair. Maybe a 3.3 .3 out of 10. It's a less discoverable game than Factorio, definitely. And it's not just that, but... In Factorio, no matter how complex it ever gets, you can just build one thing at a time, right? One little piece of complexity piles on another, little by little. In Oni, you have to figure out seven different things at once. 3.33 out of 10, indeed. There is a ton of details in the tabs, but yeah, easy to die in Oni. There's actually a lot of information missing. Like, there really is. We can mop this up. We've already got a bunch of polluted water here. It's just not being delivered. Cleaning, duties, digging, construction, all. I guess we can't put priorities on these. Oh, I have to... Wait. I have to order them to sweep this, even though... Okay. Uh... Sweep. Yeah, apparently. I would have thought that would be common sense. If I'm marking bottle emptier, polluted water only. Oh, sweep only? No. Only objects marked sweep in this container. So they would do it eventually, but they're just probably just not going to prioritize it like I wanted them to until I mark it for sweep with a high priority. There are many traps. There are countless traps. Items that aren't very useful, yeah, or like uh, steam engine. Let's look at the steam engine. Steam engine. Uh, utilizes steam to propel... No, not that. Steam... Turbine? Draws in steam from tiles directly below the machine's foundation. Uses it to generate electrical power. Outputs water. Some stats. Cool. Overheat temperature, 1000. Great. Uh, so one would think if the steam engine is at like... I don't know, 105 degrees or something... It wouldn't stop working as a steam engine. What with steam having to be over 100 degrees implicitly. But no. Um, it turns out you have to... It turns out you have to keep your steam turbine cool. Surprisingly cool. Stops working at 100. Yeah. I forgot the exact figure, but... that That's just literally not mentioned anywhere. 
overheaters for damage, yeah. But until you build it, unless you go to the wiki first, until you build it, you're not going to know that if it reaches 100 degrees, it stops working. And that is a pretty odd property for a steam engine, a steam turbine, I have to say. Then, of course, you've got uh, almost anything that you could build a thermo aqua tuner out of is going to instantly break from heat after it runs for... Wow, that is big. After it runs for one second. What is this? A signal selector. Select which of the four input signals should be sent to the output using control inputs. Which ones are the control inputs? Oh, I think I see. No? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it's probably binary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one. On the control inputs to decide which of the inputs you're going to use. Signal selectors can be used to select which automation signals are relevant to pass through. Signal distributor. Route a signal input signal out one of the four possible outputs. Okay, so it's the inverse of this. That makes sense. Signal selector isn't very useful. It's for making computer things, but it's very high level. Yeah. I can't see myself finding a use for it, even after being Mr. Factorio Circuits. Rubber Band Rambo, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good stream. Yeah, not too bad. I mean, Oni is a disaster as always, but that's okay. I still don't... I haven't, like, blocked this off or something, have I? No? And we don't have any other bottle emptiers that accept polluted water? They've taken away this polluted water. Okay, I'm gonna have to... What are you carrying? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Maybe it's been working and it's just not graphically indicated all that well. We've got... What? Damn, that was fast. Polluted water, only 126 kilograms in this time. Uh, at this rate, I'm thinking maybe I should just pump it from somewhere. See Moogle? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do you have fun playing it? Uh, yes. Let's just say it is a good pain, I guess. After after playing this, uh, going back to Factorio, um, I feel like a genius. Let's put it that way. The West dude. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Just call it a starter base, then it can't be a mess. <laughs> On cycle 300. The Amazon LOTR show is now... Okay. Um, I think I might take a little break soon, and then we'll build another damn pump just to... Just to get a little water in here, unless I can... I don't really see a good spot to take it from. Alright, uh, we'll do words on stream in a bit over 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. But you should have fun playing games, no? It's a different kind of fun, let's put it that way. And... It'll be all the more satisfying to actually get it working. Also, 
if I don't look up, like, guides and tutorials and stuff and actually get there, that's kind of like bragging rights, right? Uh, take care, Westy. Thanks for stopping by. Alright, let's do some words on stream. It'll start in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck and have fun.
This is a weird one. That was pretty rough for a level 5. Alright, let's continue, shall we? Unfortunately, I left the game unpaused, apparently. But I'm sure nothing bad happened. What bad possible thing could possibly have happened? Nothing? Definitely nothing. It seems like no one's dead, at least. So, that's good. Um, did we connect this? Yeah, we did. I think I want a pneumatic door here, and its only purpose is going to be locking dupes out of here when it's hot. I know I could set up an Atmos suit, but at least for the moment I can't be bothered with that. And we don't need to get in here that often. Oh, I didn't get to play with this yet. Filters not designated. Uh, so someone said this acts like a storage bin, only different. As in, it'll... something will travel through here. Allow manual use. Allow duplicates to man manually manage these storage materials. I don't know how that works. Load solid materials under conveyor rail for transport. Only loads the resources of your choosing. I guess we need to feed it power to even mess around with it. Unless that's what manual use means? I don't think so, because it says manually manage. I have no idea what that actually means. Everything else is not really telling us much. That's a lot of heat for such a small thing. Material filters can be used to determine what resources are sent down the rail. Bowfish is a word? Uh, yes. It is also very bad that the hot water is running through your base. The hot water is not very hot water is running through my face. Uh, no, I think we're okay on that front. The base is heating up, though, because we haven't run a cooling loop in way too long. What do we have here? Ice? Should we take ice? Um, how are we for fertilizer? Uh, that's gonna, like, almost double our fertilizer. Let's do that. That's what she said? Probably. I don't mean the tubed water, I mean the water from the volcano. Uh, yeah, it's just parking itself here. And then it goes up this way... Uh, gets turned into oxygen and hydrogen. Except, by the time it's there, it's cooled off a bit. What's the temp here? Ooh, not as much as I thought. As in, it's hotter than I thought. 80 degrees, what's this? 94. Hmm. As long as this doesn't actually break anything, I don't really mind. Okay, they've had a long time 
It's the same amount of water that was here before. Polluted water. Where the hell did they take the rest of it? I don't... I wish I could do a deconstruction plan at a check, but I'm pretty sure I don't have a single other bottle emptier other than this one. And yes, the order of the fluids changed again. Um, but I definitely forbade dropping off polluted water on this one. So... Why are the bottles of polluted water... Where have they even gone? It might have simply not been that much water, except I checked here earlier, it was literally like 126... Oh wait, what am I looking at? Wait, what? Did they just drop off some more? It's still not that much. It's like a third of a tile. Alright, we're gonna pump some in, I guess. Oh, there's a little bit, finally. What does that get us up to? 400? 425 in each tile. Well, if that's the case, I would have expected this to be done by now. Anyway, let's stop procrastinating and put in a liquid pump somewhere. Um, probably here, I guess. Can I put a ladder there? Yeah. Um, I'm still allowing them through here, sure. Let's forbid this one. And... I guess just for the moment... Run this through here. Is that what I think it is? It's copper. How did copper get down there? Oh, I think I can imagine it. Alright. And then pipes. We're gonna need a whole other set of pipes. Just for this. Okay. Uh, pipe. I guess I'll have to put some ladders out as well. And I don't, I'm not going to dig through there. I want to keep the abyssalite. And this way. I guess. Liquid bridge across here. And then... Here. I don't want to overfill it. That should be enough. It's unreachable? Yeah, I know it's unreachable for now. That should do it. While we're at it, let's dig this out. Actually, I'll have to make sure they don't dig that first. I should also get rid of this stuff. Dig out some more slime and stuff. Actually, maybe... No, it's fine. I don't know, they're gonna use it up all straight away. I don't think there's a way I could keep, like, an emergency reserve of algae, is there? Like, once it's been put into storage... What's this? Or uh, cold biome? I'm not seeing any, uh, what is it called? Uh, what is it called? Neutronium. I thought there would be neutronium under a AE and AETN, but apparently not. Where is it? 
Do we find geysers in cold biomes? Let's drop the priority on that. What about over here? Oh, did we get any... What is that? Raw egg? A raw egg has been cracked open for use in food preparation? It will never hatch? What the heck is it doing here? I literally said just bring shovel eggs here. They have been moved. Did we lose all of our shove voles because they got turned into... Because their eggs got cracked? But then why would it get transported over here? We don't have any egg cracker orders. I've been doing that manually. I don't... Understand. It's the other way around. An egg expired while in store, in storage. Oh, I thought it would just hatch if it was in storage. I guess I should have made sure I got rid of the storage. That's one more thing I have to babysit, I guess. It never hatches in storage, I see. Wait, that means we don't need the egg cracker. Right? I guess you don't get the eggshell out of it if you leave it in storage. Yeah, I forgot I could crack any eggs when the printer offers us something. Alright, how's this digging going? Pretty quickly, actually. And what about the building? Not bad. Almost there. Happens. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, yes, you are still alive. You need an egg cracker to crack on demand. Also, it may end in a better quality than Grizzly. Okay. Egg cracker can be useful to designate just how many eggs you want to crack, yeah. They don't take long to crack the eggs either, right? So it's not like, oh, you're saving labor. Okay, did we get this done? We're one thing short of getting this done. Okay. Well, probably there's power and pipes missing down here anyway. Good. Yeah, you're one of the lucky ones so far. Well, I say lucky, but... Is it really luck that you don't jump into a hole full of carbon dioxide that you can't get out of to build something that you could have built from down here? I don't know if luck is the right word for that. Um... Okay. Oh, I see. I'm gonna get scalded again. Not really. You can test the engineering in the sandbox. Yeah, I might do that next time. I want to see how far I can go... ...with all of the distractions, but maybe next stream we'll start with sandbox.
I have 500 hours in Oni, I'm not gonna get stuck. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright. How, how scolded are you? Not very. J just a little bit. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Ooh, what's this? Unknown. Well, you know we have to check that out. Oh, we're actually really close to this already. They can't hop over two tiles, can they? Do I have to go in this way? Alright, how scolded are we? 68, get on the cot. Quinn? Oh my goodness. I'd never seen that happen in real time before. A bit of ice just melted and it was like a little water avalanche. Not so much oxygen in there. We got it, except not. Okay. Uh, anyone else injured? Then we get on the cot. Apparently everyone else is ineligible. We got printables. I also have a new... Duplicate checkpoint. Allows duplicates to pass when receiving a green sig- Oh, I saw this. There was one down here. Right? No, that's not quite right. I may have seen that on Damsel's stream, actually. Allows duplicates to pass when receiving a green, green signal. 500 DTUs of heat for that? What? Can we not... Hold on. 10 watts, 500 DTUs. What about... That's 120 watts. But can't we connect automation wires to doors? We can definitely do it with uh, with those airlocks. Okay, not the other ones. No, wait. Okay, so manual airlock, no. But pneumatic door, yes. But I'm guessing maybe automation signal to a pneumatic airlock just opens and closes it. It doesn't forbid or anything. The game doesn't tell you that Dracos can be sheared? Uh, does it not? Overcrowded glum. Oh dear. Uh, we've got a grooming station. Would that not do it? Draco. That doesn't do it, really. You could actually be trolling me and I just don't know. Like, it'd be a coin toss. You can have so much plastic from Dracos. Seriously. Reptilian species, da 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 da. 
Often f fibers are often farmed for their textile production. Yeah, I thought this gave us like reed fibers or something. No? Is it that funny? What do we got? By all means, give me some curative tablets. How's this dig going? I think we should go through here. That's a whole lot more algae. That's good. Oh, did we get there yet? No. No, we did not. I think I'm queuing up a bit too much all at once. Can we not? We've already prioritized this. our steel it's still at 600 i guess yeah i haven't i haven't got the cooling loop done yet uh wait a sec this liquid is at 9.6 degrees um that should be fine right They need hydrogen? The Drekos do? This game is just full of secrets. What's that meme? Oh, go on then. Keep your secrets. What is that? Neutronium? Uh? Wait, is this actually the edge of the map? Neutronium's the indestructium, right? Neutronium. This one's... this is black, but this neutronium appears to be more brownish, or maybe that's... Yeah, no, it's definitely a different color. So this is the edge of the map. It's a little smaller than I expected. Where can I look at... colony report, maybe? No, um... colony summary. Oh, is this entire square... Is this actually the edge of everything? Has it... Let me look at one of the older ones, can I? Time lapse. No, it definitely zoomed in earlier. So, can I actually just scroll? Yeah, I can see where the edge of the level is here as well, it looks like. And I think if I go to the right, I'm not going to be able to see anything anywhere. Alright, well, let's get exploring. We've got only a couple of geysers. That could be another AETN. Oh! Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, It's a bit out of the way, to say the least, but then so is this one. This one's just a little bit further. I guess we don't need to dig this anymore. Do I have any motive to go after this AETN? Not right now, at least, I don't think. Q. 
keep digging. Fantastic. Pretty close to the edge here as well. Cryo 4. Is there any need to dig further down? I feel like we're just going to find more magma. Maybe I should take all of the lead from the oil biome. That would probably help a couple of things. Cycle 301. Even if we die this run, I'm at least going to go further and see more stuff. We got more Weezwats. Maybe I should take them. That's actually quite a lot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 Weezwats. That could definitely help. What do they need? Uh, fertilization, 400 grams a cycle. It sounds like a lot, relatively. What does meal would take? 10 kilograms a cycle of fertilizer. Oh, that's actually relatively small. 4 kilos a cycle. What about... Dusk cat. Four kilos a cycle. Set. Oh, that's irrigation. Ten kilos a cycle of dirt. So the weasel warts are actually the weasel warts rather. Did I say weasel warts all that all those times? Uh, they're actually kind of cheap. I think we should probably exploit those a bit more. You can always start a new colony with all you've learned already. It'll be easier. Yeah. Definitely. I was tempted to do it already a bit earlier, but I wanted to see... For one thing, if I could survive for however much longer, but also if I could actually push forward despite everything. Alright, we finally got... Oh, lovely. We finally got our polluted water here. Um, we can get rid of that now. And all of that, frankly. I'm sure it's going to make a lovely mess as we deconstruct it. really want to see at the moment is this. What is it? Submit Bioscan. Errands. High priority. Unreachable? What do you mean? Oh. Uh, okay, yeah, no, it does appear to still be unreachable. I guess they have to stand next to it. What is that? Oh, another pokey shell. Uh, I didn't do the inspects here yet. Let's go. I searched the computer storing what useful data I can find in my own memory. To Director Stern from Dr. Jones. Everything went well. Broussard was reluctant at first, but she has little alternative given the nature of her work. The recent turn of events. She can begin at your convenience. 
Uh, C. Moogle, thank you very much for the gifted sub. Much appreciated. Night Dancer, hope you enjoy. Thank you very much. Exo, Exo, Dr. Jones. What do we got here? Wait, Joshua, you read Devon's blog? From Summers to... No, two Summers from Jones. Oh, cool. Devon's writing a new post for Toast of the Town. I'd love to tag along and, and see how the sausage is made, so to speak. Oh my god, I found out today that Devon's one of those people who takes pictures of their food <laughs> and uploads them to some boring blog somewhere. You have to come to lunch with us and see. They spend so long taking pictures that the food gets cold and they have to ask the waiter to reheat it. Wow. Uh, what about this? Pipe dream. The director has suggested implanting artificial memories during print, but despite the great strides made in our research under her direction, such a thing can barely be considered more than a pipe dream. But uh, for the moment, we remain focused on eliminating the remaining glitches in the system, as well as developing effective education and training routines for printed subjects. I make, suggest omega-3 supplements and mentally stimulating enclosure apparatuses to accompany tutelage. Uh, let's check off the last of our research. Oh, there's like two more clicks, three more clicks before we have to do yellow science. Gotta go. Thanks for the streams. Thanks for hanging out. And thank you very much again for the gifted sub. Take care, C. Moogle. See you next time. I don't think I want Brian to appear right here. Uh, let's maybe just reject all this time. Okay. I just tried to press the map key. There is no map key. As far as I know. Oh, we got there. What do we got? Uh, a table? Made of neutronium. Wait, can I demolish this and get unobtainium? I assume... no. I assume that's not very exploitable. This is made of steel. 50 kilograms. Can I seriously just get 50k of steel? This way? Another 50k uh, kilograms. Another 50 kilograms. Another 50 kilograms. Another 50 kilograms? Only removes buildings to clear space. No, sadly. Someone said the uh, comfy bed, for example, you could get plastic out of it. But only if it's not built out of something weird like this. We could also potentially deconstruct the plastic ladders, but we've got way more than enough plastic. Plastic is relatively easy. I mean, I say enough. Enough for what I'm trying to do right now. Alright, let's find out. Nothing. Yep. That was a waste of time. Well, it was worth a try. The comfy bed is a normal building, but the desks and such are special. So we do get obsidian for deconstructing this. Also, we got some rummaging and inspecting to do. A 
discarded journal inside remains mostly intact. I scan the pages. I've been so tired lately, I've probably spent the last three nights sleeping at my desk, and I've used the lab safety shower to bathe twice already this month. We're technically on schedule, but for some reason Director Stern has been breathing down my neck to get these new products ready for market. Normally I'd be mad about the added pressure on my work, but something in the director's voice tells me that time is of the essence. I keep finding myself staring at my computer screen, totally unable to remember what it was I was doing. I try to force myself to type up some notes or analyze my data, but it's like my brain is paralyzed. I can't get anything done. I'll have to stay late to make up for all this time I've wasted staying late. Undiscovered more research or exploration is required. Wait, are there entries that I've looked at already that I have to go back to look at the rest of? I hope not. There goes the sandwich to the ground. Uh-oh. It's fine. It's it's just a little wet. It's still good. It's still good. You get the ability to build comfy beds with one of the research options. Yeah, I noticed that. And sure enough, there's obsidian. This is copper. This is steel, but we don't actually get it. Wait, this thing's going backwards. Or, oh, I see. This rotates clockwise. This is the time of day, and this is... Okay. Alright, where to next? Probably down here. Might be good. I could go through there, instead of cutting through all the abyssalite. Maybe like this? Uh, how about this? Let's just see what's down here. And there were... Ooh! Didn't even see you there. Or did I? I feel like I should have noticed this or remembered this. Cool steam vent. Emitting steam quite fast. 110 degrees. Um... So that's actually not hot enough to run a steam engine, right? We need, I think it was 125? Or 150 or something? Speaking of which, this steam has still not cooled down all the way. Not hot enough. Okay. And this was a regular steam vent. 500 degrees, that's way more than hot enough. So once I drain this... I should maybe if we pump okay if we have a steam engine directly above this and we pump water back in here and then this thing outputs 500 degrees steam I guess the water would flash to steam as well but we're gonna run out of space sooner or later Maybe it would be better to just pump the water. What temperature does the water come out of the steam engine? Like 100 degrees, I imagine? 200 for max value. Hmm. Well, we have another water source. At the very least.
And I think there was something over this way I wanted to look at. Oh, here it is. How are we going to get over there? I don't want to let even more polluted oxygen in. Let's go this way. We can get some iron and stuff while we're at it. The turbine outputs water at 95. Alright, that's about what I might expect. And there was this thing way up here. It shouldn't be difficult to get to, honestly. I commented on this earlier, but I'm surprised carbon dioxide just sits here and doesn't get sucked out the vacuum. Um, should probably put an airlock on second thought. I don't think I care. If I do this, that's not going to be reachable, right? This requires... This door is on auto. Waiting duplicate to open door. Okay. It's just a door. It's not super special. It would appear. CO2 is very low density, it's venting, but pretty slowly once the pressure drops. Uh, 919 milligrams. Ah, that makes more sense. Okay, cool. Maybe we'll actually make it this time. I was expecting to just run out of this or that vital resource or fail to oxygenate or something. But now that I've now that we uh explore a bit more. There's lots and lots of algae and slime to dig into. We've got more water sources. We've got... Um, we, we can do this electrolyzer thing a few more times. I'm sure there's some resource or another, like dirt or something, that we're just going to end up running out of. But it seems like it'll take a while. I think some vertical airflow would be nice. It's fine. It'll get there. Maybe more... It's actually a surprising amount of oxygen making its way down here. Oh, we dug this already. Okay. Uh, so I'm guessing, once again, I have to go in this way specifically. What tile is that? Unknown. But it looks like it's not tile. Whatever the case, we will be needing some ladder. And did we actually get anything out of the door itself? 
No. It just became a regular old door. Awaiting duplicate to lock door. No, this is fine. Okay. Research complete. Uh, how about parallel automation? Automation ribbon bridge. Ribbon wire. Or rather, automation ribbon. 4-bit wire. And I guess... Ribbon writer, ribbon reader. That's for splitting it or merging it. Well, I'm sure that might theoretically come in handy one day. The circuits that we've needed have been very simple so far. How much steel do we have? Still 600? Waiting for materials. What is it waiting for? It's got water. Not that much. Oh, is it water that it's waiting for? We're waiting coolant. Okay, so it's waiting for the coolant to cool. Still. It's at 11.4 degrees at the moment. At the input point. Uh, all the more reason to set up our... Aqua tuner, and hopefully this one will actually work. I can't go through there? What? Was this tile here already before? Is that why? Oh, it's because it's the big chunky wire. Okay, how about this? What's the stress on this wire already? Oh, it's so small compared to the 20 kilowatts. Okay. So... Did we set up the automation stuff? I think we did. Yeah, we've got... This temperature has to be below 80. And this thing has to be off. And this can get deconstructed. And that should just about do it. You can hover over the notification. I've added a new entry to my log surface breach. Wait. Oh, that was ages ago, wasn't it? Excavated their way to the surface. Have I really not marked that off this entire time? Alert surface breach. Uh, okay. I should be careful. The region is extremely inhospitable and I could easily lose resources to the vacuum of space. Yeah, that's about what I might expect. This is not what I would call uh, breaching the surface, but okay. My duplicates have done the impossible and excavated their way to the surface, though they've gathered some disturbing new data for me to process. As I had begun to suspect, we are not on the target location, but on an asteroid with a highly unusual diversity of elements and resources. Further, my duplicates have spotted a damaged planet. What is all of this? Uh, one thing at a time. I've spotted a damaged planet on the horizon, visible to the naked eye. It bears a striking resemblance to my historical data on the planet of our origin. I'll need some time to access the data the dupes have gathered for me and calculate the total mass of the asteroid, though I have a suspicion I already know the answer. Yes, surface, indeed. Electronic display. Oh, we can inspect this already? Uh, 
Uh, okay. Inspect. The display is still functional. I copy its message into my database. Thermo nullifier promo. Tired of shutting down during seasonal heat waves? Looking to cut weather related operating costs? Look no further. Gravitas's revolutionary anti entropy thermo nullifier is the exciting, affordable new way to eliminate, blah, 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 blah. eliminate operational downtime. Powered by a proprietary renewable power sources, the you mean hydrogen? The AETN efficiently cools an entire office building without incurring any environmental surcharges associated with comparable systems. Initial setup includes hydrogen duct installation and hydrogen duct installation and discounted monthly maintenance visits blah 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 okay elimlemle yes reading 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 oh what's that <laughs> yes all right can we there's no like scan or anything here All right, what do we got? Furniture, monument base, monument midsection. Is that what this is? I think it said gravitas monument, a large modern sculpture that sits in the center of the lobby. Amazing. And monument top. Okay. Uh, where is our print? Gold amalgam? Sure. A lot less of this is looking polluted. Although, I don't know what to do about the salt. I guess I'd need double filters, just like two filtered splitters. How's the temperature here? It's slowly creeping towards 100 for the steam. Oh, I think it's gaining heat from this as well. So it's taking longer. There's a lot of space left to, uh, left to explore still. It's the best way to get there. Leak through the ice. I'm not seeing any four by one neutronium this area. Oh, we didn't uh, submit bioscan here yet. Oh wait, there's no ladders here yet. That would probably help. There's another one directly below. How about... How about we dig this way, actually? And what do we got? A neural vacillator. Uh... 
inspect. Initial success. We are now reliably printing healthy living subjects, though all have exhibited unusual qualities as a result of the cloning process. Squeaking sounds can be heard. Unusual vocalizations, benign growths, missing appendages have seen, been seen in all subjects thus far, to varying degrees of severity. It seems that bypassing or accelerating juvenility halts certain critical stages of development. Brain function, however, appears typical. That they also seem quite happy. Aha. Uh -huh. Neural vacillator. I can assign someone to it. Any volunteers? What's this? The computer looks pristine on the outside, but is corrupted internally. Got files. It's an art. Take a moment to appreciate it. Me? Okay. Sloder. Uh, please pay it no mind if any of these journals reach out to you. Deny comment. Are you aware of the articles that have been cropping up about us lately? Broken link. Okay. Okay, then. Um, crank up that priority. Sloda is already on the way, actually. Sloda just... Oh, okay. Um, vacillation complete. Um, it is what using neural vacillator. He, he wants to go to the bathroom, I think. You gotta manually release him? Oh. How... what? Complete neural process. Something feels different. Sloda's brain is still vibrating. <laughs> Never felt better. Acquired deep diver's lungs trait. Frankly impressive ability to hold their breath. Air consumption rate, negative 50 grams a second. Well, that's nice. He's getting fried. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so is this... Can we do it again? We can recharge it. There are no charges left. Recharge requested awaiting delivery. What do we need delivered? A massive synthetic brain suspended in saline solution. There's a chair attached. Uh, insufficient resources, vacillator recharge. Okay. That makes more sense, honestly. I guess we don't need this room, do we? I guess it costs nothing to leave it there and maybe we'll get those pets again. Got an actually useful perk? Yeah. What do we normally consume, oxygen-wise? We got negative 50 grams per second, was it? Or per cycle? Or... Uh, let's see. Breath. That's not what we're looking for. Um, do I need to look at, like, reports or something? That might be a good way to look at it, actually. Calorie generation, stress, disease, errands, work time, travel time, personal time, oxygen generation. Minus 56.3 kilograms. Oh. Uh-oh.
Hey, Sigma B. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did they die? No, Slurpus, they did not die. Good to see you again also. Slight Quills. Welcome, welcome also. Alright, what should we be doing next? Wait, what are you doing? Oh, that was Lice Loaf. Who did die? Um, no, no, nobody? No, nobody died. Not even once. Never in the history of this colony did anyone die. Nope. It, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I meant the pets for the metal room. Oh yeah, that was, um, the drill thingies? What are they called again? I don't think the word drill is going to find them. Critters. I probably scrolled past it. Oh, no. Something vol. Shove vol. There we go. Yeah, we had shove vol eggs. And I had them moved here, and I forgot to empty them. And they turned into, uh, just, like, fried egg. Uh, unpronounceable name. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I have me suffocating in that doom room in fresh memory. At least you didn't jump into a doom suffocation room from which there was no escape. Uh, are we not running this yet? Oh, I didn't give it pipes. That would probably help. So how should I go about this? Probably just... Walk away from here and go back to here? Question mark? Or maybe even remove that piece of pipe and just run this through. No, the output's going to be blocked. I think that might be okay, actually. No liquid output. Feature request characters get PTSD when they lose health as proportional pathing penalty near the place of losing health. Is there a way for perfect gas insulation? As in an airlock that actually works? Uh, there is. It's, it, it looks very weird. It's very cheesy. This is how you do it. You, you get a, what is it called, bottle emptier? And you drop some water or something into this kind of shape, and the gas is never going to get in or out. I wouldn't call that cheesy. Those kind of liquid locks are useful in real life, too. Hmm... I don't know why there's polluted water here in particular. Did we not get this built yet? Seems our electrolyzer still keeps... Oh, we could easily make this more conductive. That'd probably help. Wait, what is that? Oh, it's... we're making it out of granite. Okay.
bathrooms have liquid locks to prevent the smell from coming back from sewers. Oh, as in the S bend? Even mods will do, but I couldn't find. Indeed. Yeah. I I just wish uh, a proper airlock with um, vents and everything didn't require quite so much. Like, the gas pump being 2x2 two two for starters. I know you can make smaller ones later, but that's not what I mean. Uh, automation ribbon. And what were those other two? There they are. Wait, what? How does this work? I actually don't understand. Why is a green signal or a red signal to the specified bit? Ah, wait, but there's only... Oh, I guess we, like, manually choose which bit it is. We don't have to give it another bit. That makes sense, I suppose. How's our research? I think everything's done except for this now. Yeah, after these two researches, we need some kind of interstellar research. Oh, that's not happening for a minute. The smaller ones are trash. Uh, oh, I think I remember 60 watts, 50 grams per second. It's like incredibly bad for heat and or power, right? Not to mention we need plastic. Eh, plastic's not as hard as it might have been. And liquid... Uh, where is it? Mini liquid pump. Thousand grams per second. How fast is this one? Can't even tell. Well, that's, I guess, a relatively unsurprising place to make a mess. What are you doing? Oh, you're idle. I thought you were stuck. You're not actually stuck, are you? Really? You could... Ugh. That's a little bit annoying. Building lacks resources. Oh, that. But there's ten of them. Okay, never mind. There's lots of stuff. Thermonuclear promo. We looked at that. New printables are available. Uh, I don't think we have any reason to care about a Dracula egg. We've already got all of the Dracos. Let's just skip this for now, I suppose. How's our coal? 6.6 .6 tons. We're still slowly running out. Is there any... Oh, what's this? Inspect. Display is still functional. Copy it. Printing pod promo. Introducing the latest in 3D printing technology. We are proud to announce that by... That printing advancements developed here in the Gravitas facility will soon bring new bio-organic production capabilities to your old home printers. What does that mean for the average household? Dinner frustrations are a thing of the past. Simply select any of the pods 
5,398 pre-programmed recipes, and voila. Delicious pot roast ready in only 0.8 seconds. <laughs> Prefer the patented family recipe? Program your own custom meal template. For an instant taste of home, or go old school and create fresh delicious ingredients and prepare your own home-cooked meal. Amazing. What about this? Mining gun promo. Bring your mining operations into the 23rd century with new Gravitas personal excavators. Improved particle condensers reduce raw volume for more efficient product. Uh, product shipping. And that's good for your bottom line. Licensed for industrial use only. Resale may carry a fine. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. That is a huge chandelier. Can we get someone in there? Not quite yet. How much longer will this vent be venting? Uh, 4.5 cycles. 4.6. Almost there. These uh, slicksters are producing crude oil slower than I might have expected. We can tap an oil reservoir though, right? Suffocating. There's no air in here. I guess I shouldn't be shocked by that. Um, why are you just standing there though? What the hell? No bad. Okay. Sneaky. And presumably there's approximately nothing over here, but I'll get someone to go there just to be sure. Who's closest? Oh, it's like bath time and stuff. Going to generate power. I have a different job for you. Almost? Nah, not even close. It's fine. Nothing bad will happen. Ooh. That's a lot more than I was expecting to see. Reception desk. My pens. We would like to remind staff not to use the CC all function for intra-office issues. I think I saw this already. In the event of disputes or disruptive work behavior, blah blah blah. Whoever's stealing the glitter pens off my desk, consider this your last warning. Broken elevator. We can't inspect this, right? No. Filing cabinet. One intact document remains. A yellowing old newspaper clipping. Campus newspaper article. Students at the Elian University of Science and Tech have held an uncontroversial uh, unconventional party this weekend. While their peers may have been out until the wee hours wearing lampshades on their heads and drawing eyebrows on sleeping colleagues, students Jackie Stern and Olivia Broussard spent the week in their dorm, refreshments and decorations ready, waiting for the arrival of the guests of honour themselves. 
The two prospective STEM students who study theoretical physics with a focus on the workings of space-time conducted the experiment under the assumption that were their theories about the malleability of space-time to ever come to fruition, their future selves could travel back in time to greet them at the party, proving the existence of time travel. They weren't inconsiderate of their future selves' busy schedules, though. Should the guests of honor be unable to attend, they were encouraged to send back a message using the code word hourglass to communicate that, while they certainly wanted to come, they were simply unable. Sadly, no one RSVP'd or arrived at the party, but that did not dishearten Olivia or Jackie. It just meant more snacks for us. Amazing. Looks like this is the last thing we can inspect. Isn't this something that Stephen Hawking actually did? I'd never heard that one. Old magazine article from a publication called Nucleoid? Nucleoid article. Incredible technology from independent lab harnesses time into energy? That sounds safe. Scientists from the recently founded Gravitas facility have unveiled their first technology prototype, dubbed the Temporal Bow. It is a device which manipulates the fourth dimension to generate infinite clean and renewable energy. While it may sound like something from science fiction, facility founder Dr. Jacqueline Stern, that's a familiar name, confirms that it is very much real. It has always been demonstrated that Newton's second law of motion can be violated by negative mass superfluids under the correct lab conditions. If the laws of motion can be bent and altered, why not the laws of thermodynamics? That was the main intent behind this project. The temporal bow works by rapidly vibrating sections of the fourth dimension to send small quantities of mass forward and backward in time, generating massive amounts of energy with virtually no waste. The fantastic thing about using the fourth dimension as fuel, says Stern, is that it is really categorically infinite. For those eagerly awaiting the prospect of human time travel, don't get your hopes up just yet. The facility says that although they have successfully transported matter through time, the technology was expressly developed for the purpose of energy generation as Ill and is ill-equipped for human transportation. Well then. How much further left, uh, right can we go? Looks like that's the end of it. Yeah, that's like the top right corner of the map. We can go a bit higher, actually. How much higher can we go? Not very. And this is actually... The edge of the map here as well. Speaking of which, we should be able to get in here now. Yucky lungs. Uh oh. What do we get? Another neural vacillator. Any volunteers? The computer was wiped almost completely clean, except for this. OMG, the janitor. Poofed, whatever. He's really nice if you get to know him, though. Really dependable, too. One time I busted a wheel off my office chair, and he got me a new one in, like, two minutes. I think he's just sweaty because he works so hard. Oh my gosh, have you seen the building's janitor? He totally smells, and he's... Okay. Uh, what do we have here? Rummage, and rummage, and that's a lovely pool of polluted water to sit in, in the neural vacillator. Inspect, moved rats. Director, do you know where my rats have been moved to? I asked around the bioengineering division, but I was referred back to you. Hmm? Oh yes, they've been removed. Removed? Discarded. I'm sorry, did you still need them? The reports showed your experiments with them were completed. No, I... I collected all the data I needed, I just... You weren't making pets of, our, of test subjects, were you? 
Don't be ridiculous. I... Good. They were horrible to look at anyway. All those bumps. In the future, please do not mess with my things. It disturbs me. I'll notify you beforehand next time. Personal journal. I started work at a new company called the Gravitas Facility today. I was nervous I wouldn't get the job at first because I was fresh out of school and I was so 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 pushy in the interview, but the director apparently liked my thesis on the physiological thermoregulation of arctic lizards. I'll be working with some brilliant geneticists, bioengineering organisms for space travel in harsh environments. It's like a dream come true. I get to work on exciting new research in a place where no one knows me. No, 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 no. It can't be. Bani Ansari is here, working on space shuttle thrusters in the robotics lab. As soon as she saw me, she called me Bubbles. <laughs> and told everyone about the time I accidentally inhaled a bunch of fungal spores during lab, blew a big snot bubble out my nose, and then sneezed all over Professor Avery. Everyone's calling me Bubbles instead of Doctor at work now. Some of them don't even know it's a nickname. But I don't want to correct them and seem rude or anything. I can't believe that story followed me here. Bunny, ruin, uh, Bunny ruins everything. I've spent the last few days at work, uh, buried in my work. I'm actually feeling a lot better. We finally perfected a gene manipulation that controls heat sensitivity in rats. Our test subjects barely even shiver in sub-zero temperatures now. We'll probably do a test run tomorrow with robotics to see how rats fare in the prototype shuttles we're developing. Bubbles. I accidentally removed one of these and I don't know what it was. Probably iron. Like iron... No? There we go. What do we get? A couple of cool vests. Those are the negative decor ones. Protects the wearer from heat by decreasing insulation. What? Uh, I guess? Alright, what's next? How's our cooling loop? It is saturated and pipe blocked. Whoops. Yeah, I think this pipe should actually go... Uh, we'll do a bridge back to here. And back in here. Let's crank up the priority on that. And maybe someday we can do some more steel. What's the temperature on this? Uh, 15 degrees? How cold, how cold should I make it before we put the coolant in? piece as well. Fantastic. Alright, so what's our temperature like here? 25, 25, 25, 25, 25. Uh, it's peaking in the 50s. Okay, yeah, this was the answer. 
enable... Wait, what? Oh, did we run out of power? No? Um... How cold is this water going to get coming out of here? Maybe I should move the sensor? Since it's not actually cooling this. How can I use both? Maybe I could loop this back in as well. That might be a good way to do it. No, maybe. That's probably just going to result in some weird behavior. It should probably go past the AETN, then to the Aqua Tuna, then back into the loop then here? I don't... I don't know. We can just throw crap at the wall and see what sticks. You never know. If it can go in a loop and has the opportunity to exit the loop when it's cold, that might be all we need. It's already quite cold. Uh, at this rate, we're going to end up... Well, some of it's cold. No, I think I was looking at the air temperature. But at this rate, we could end up freezing the pipes. Can we hurry up and get this built? Made a mess. Not this again. Okay, we're gonna put... We're gonna put ladders here. In case that happens again. With the ice falling down and blocking things. Here we go. Alright, so we well and truly have a cooling loop now. Let's double check the logic. So this actually has nothing to do with it. It just lets the fluid out if it's cold enough. Hmm. If we're not running the AETN and this isn't too hot, we run this. I think we have to add a condition whereby we stop this if this is getting too cold. And without needing, like, another AND gate or something, I think I know how to do that. We're simply going to detect the temperature right after it comes out of this thing. And block it if it gets too cold. So what's the temperature here? Liquid pipe, 15.1, 15, 14.9. Probably the fact that it's going through the reservoir, equalizing all the water, that's 
probably really good. Um, Alright, so if green signal, if above, let's say, 5 degrees. Wait, no, we lose like 14 degrees, right? When it goes through this stuff, uh, this Thermo Aqua Tuna. So, at least 15 degrees? Let's make it like 20 degrees. If it's above 20 degrees coming out, we can continue running this thing. Starvation? We've got 11,000 calories. What are you doing? Okay. I, I am worried about the food, though. It might be time again to... Oh, we have a stone hatchling egg. Nice. Uh, might be time to make some steaks. Uh-oh. Well, I think... I, I think our poker shells are about to... are about to offer us some meat, whether we like it or not. What are we supposed to be feeding them? Polluted dirt, rock pile... And we just don't have that? What else can we feed them? Not these... Poker shell. That's the only thing we can feed them. I can't exactly produce a bunch of polluted dirt and rock piles all at once. I think we have to manage their population much more carefully next time. Alright, what about the hatches? Are there no hatches in here? What? Apparently. Can we eat these? That's a rando hatchling egg. We've got two eggs here and these guys say they're crabbed. Oh, three eggs. Um... I don't want to order cracking a hatchling egg, and it turns out they take this one. So I'll maybe avoid, like, queuing up, trying to queue up these ones. That seems like a lot of puffs. I've seen dupes get attacked by the poker shells. I don't know if I want them to... to attack them. Especially when they're about to die in like less than a quarter of a day, some of them. One fifth of a day. What about the Dracos? Uh, we do have too many Dracos, actually. I don't think I've ever seen a Draco egg, though. Well, we've... We've ended up with glossy Dracos, so we must have produced eggs. This one's 130 out of 150 cycles old. So that one can definitely go. Halem Grandmaster, good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Do to do. Oh, that's just the new day. I think. Oh, research complete. Space scanner telescope. Uh, what is 
telescope. Wow, that's kind of big. I'm not shocked by that. Um, I assume we have to put it upstairs. Assigned duplicates must possess field research skill. Must be exposed to space to function. Requirements, oxygen, and not a whole lot of power. Pretty simple, apart from the whole build it exposed to space thing, where we get hit by meteors. And what else did we get? Space scanner. Sends a green signal to its automation circuit when it detects incoming objects from space. Can be configured to de detect incoming meteor showers or returning space rockets. 120 watts. So does that mean we can build our scanner and... Well, not scanner. I meant the thing we were just looking at. Um, telescope, solar panels, and just shut the doors. We had some kind of heavy doors. Here it is. Bunker door. Requires steel, specifically. It's 4x1 tiles for 500 steel. That's not as bad as I expected. Bunker tile is 1x1 one one for 100. That's exactly the way to go. At this rate, it's going to be easier to set up solar, uh, despite the meteors, than steam. We just need a bunch of steel... How big is the solar panel? Let's see. I can't tell. I don't have glass. How do we get glass in this game? I'm guessing it's in the kiln? Glass forge. Produces molten glass from raw sand. High temperature liquid comes out. 1.2 kilowatts. That sounds like a problem. Molten glass. Is this the only way? Glass solid. Comes from glass liquid. Okay. Glass blowing? That's just some recipes. Glass forge. Refinement, glass forge. That puts high temp liquid. It doesn't have a liquid input pipe, it just spits it out as glass. It's not like a coolant. Overheat temperature, 1.2 kilowatts. How much do we get out of one solar panel? 380 kilowatts. Not a whole lot. So we still really need, like, coal and stuff to bootstrap steam engines. And solar panels are the last luxury we can make as far as power generation goes. It's a lot of heat. Uh, the station itself is very easy to make. And then we just give it sand. So where does the liquid pipe go? We output glass as a liquid. Don't tell me we have to dump it into a room or something. And what, just wait for it to cool? I doubt it. Do we have to, like... It goes solid at 1126 degrees. Are we actually making... 
liquid glass and then just cooling it. That's kind of wild. That's going to be interesting to figure out. So other than the extremely difficult process of making glass so that we can make solar panels. Um, one of the parts that I thought would be harder is basically just spam a bunch of steel. Bunker tiles, bunker doors. Why is 120 watts? Oh, I wanted to know what the size of the solar panels was, but it won't let me even see it without um, having the resources. But I would guess? No, I wouldn't guess. I was going to say I would guess it fits under a bunker door, maybe. I was getting about 50 to 100 kilowatts during the day. You'll never get those 380 kilowatt generation depends on solar radiation. Uh, it says 380 watts. Yeah, yeah, that was just like... Saw one guy having over 200. Yeah, well, it's actually free power, so there's that. Once you actually get there. Just once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th I just sort of... I thought you meant, like, having a whole bunch of them or something. What's this? Oh, there's the... There's our duplicate checkpoint and another neural vacillator. Mistaking it with Factorio, yeah. Where an assembly machine uses six kilowatts of power just sitting idle. Somehow. Um, Alright, I'm going to take a quick break. We're going to do one more words on stream. I'll be back in a few minutes. Start words on stream in 30 seconds. Good luck and have fun.
Oh, we got there. Nice. I was going to say, that's a tricky one. There was another G. Nope, never mind. Wait, googly is a word? Are you serious? Alright, let's continue, shall we? Uh, what should we do with the last bit of the stream today? Oh, oh wait, I found that before. The salt water geyser. I think I'd like to do a bit more exploring. Um... Not sure what that was about. Starvation. Oh, this is getting scary. Okay, since we're not going to get our cooling loop done that quickly. And already this has stopped. Let's lower it a bit more. Oh, did I set that? Wrong? Green signal if above... What's the temperature here? 10 kilograms of water at 0.6 degrees. Oh, never mind. But apparently we're not running the AETM at the moment either. Because this is below... okay. Hmm. So there is a sweet spot, or a not so sweet spot, where we're not putting coolant through here, but maybe it doesn't have to be all the way down to 10 degrees. Maybe 20 is fine, actually. Probably, as a matter of fact. Work errand. There we go. Um, let's... I want high priority, but not insane priority on that. Googly yes, googly no. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, I think I should plant some more Weezwort. So that we can actually grow... ...our things over here. How about here? What seed? We've actually got one already. And why don't we gain access to these ones? And then... Uh, these ones, I suppose. And all the way down there, actually. Yeah, I'll definitely go for Wheeze Warts a bit sooner next time, I think. Very worthwhile. I definitely will do some sandbox stuff tomorrow. Maybe I'll start a new save, maybe I'll try to continue this one. There's, there's a lot of stuff that I could improve in terms of, like, the overall layout of the base, how much room we leave for certain rooms, and so on. Don't tell me you're stuck. No, you seem to be okay. Ceiling collapse? What? No? Flooding. That's... that's a problem. Please fix. How do we end up with polluted water in here? Blueprint, curative tablets, why not? How's our ox- oh, our oxygen is great! 
that at least is going well. We may be running out of food. We may be running out of dirt to make the food. We may be running out of goodness knows what else. But we can breathe. Very, very easily, as a matter of fact. We're also gaining a bunch of hydrogen. Finally, oxygen. Oxygen included. We got there. Um, this is looking rather hot. Oh, I guess we finished a recipe or two? We finished one whole recipe of steel. Bruh. It generates so much heat. Title did not lie, there is oxygen. Wait, what title did I have? Or the game's title? Yeah, okay. Is that what I think it is? It is not. Alright, let's get some Weezwot. What is that? Nothing. The game's title, indeed. Um, how about we uproot this mealwood and replace it with Weezwot? We can always uproot them again later if... If we get our cooling loop going properly. It's not like, uh... It's not like real-life plants that would get traumatized by getting moved around all the time. Should probably insulate the plants next time as well. I don't know. Or just insulate most of the base in general. And this kind of stuff would be somewhere else behind uh, behind insulated tiles. Doesn't require that much foot traffic, we just have to run power through it. For the most part. Of course, in the early game we need to set up a water reservoir relatively close because we can't dig and build that easily. So I have to try to plan to move it. Probably further down would be better might even make it easy to drain the water into the new reservoir. I definitely want to set up the electrolyzer loop uh, much sooner next time. Is it already seven hours? Pretty much. We're almost there. Maybe we could make a pool of water. I'm sure the AETN will work underwater, right? Not uh, th that name, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We, yeah, we could maybe... I think next time I would like to put an AETN underwater. And, uh... 
that's going to be a lot more effective. It, it's going to be a nightmare trying to implement that from here now that we're, with all the spaghetti. I could set it up up here with this AETN. But in hindsight, that's going to be the much, much, much easier play. We're going to use an AETN to cool water. We'll use a sensor so that we don't freeze it. I guess... If we did freeze it, it wouldn't be as much of a disaster. Because it's not going to be in pipes and it's not going to damage the pipes. If we have a big, like, bucket for the AETN. And pump water out of the corner of it. Yeah, I like this idea. I like this idea a lot. I'll keep the number of dupes lower. I'll be much, much pickier about the dupes we do take. We won't try and expand quite so aggressively. I could probably f try and figure out some more about ranching. I don't know, what is there to figure out about ranching? We use the critter sensors, we hoover up critters when there's too many. And we... produce steaks. And the critters that are left are not glum because they're not overcrowded. I think it works underwater, but if it gets too cold it will turn to ice. Yes, yes. Um, but we'll detect the temperature of the water um, and cut off the supply of hydrogen to the AETN to prevent that from happening. We could, in fact, pump all of our water that we get from geysers straight into that pool. If the input... If we have, like, the input, the hot side is, say, over here, and the output is well and truly on the opposite side of the AETN. Um... And we could maybe even link the output pump to a sensor as well, or the same sensor. I also really recommend getting some radiant pipes around the nullifier, because there's a stark difference between normal and radiant pipes. That might be worth considering as well. We could try it now, even. Except this thing has to actually run first. Radiant pipe. 50 metal though? Well, it's only... It's unrefined metal. Wait, no it's not. But we could use lead because we don't have to worry about... We, we have to worry about lead overheating, not underheating. Lead pipes, what could go wrong? Literally nothing. Don't worry about it.
How fast does it work? That won't freeze in the pipes, will it? I've got a sensor so that it doesn't get cold enough. Um, we're actually stopping the AETN when this tile is 20 degrees or lower. And when we're not running the AETN, we are trying to run the Thermo Aqua Tuna. But... I don't know, I need to come up with better logic for this, I suppose. If... If the water here is above 20 degrees, we're going to run this. This is just going to be stuck forever, I think, right? So how should we... Proceed. The water coming in here is going to be a certain temperature. I don't know how to logic the a uh, the aqua tuna. I think I would have to s prevent sending liquid to it that's too cold, actually, instead of stopping it at this point. Can I put this gas vent somewhere else? I can. We don't even really need it right now, so... Uh, no stress deconstructing that. And we put our liquid pipe thermosensor here. I'm going to need to remove that ladder. We're about to see if we do get plastic out of that. We don't. We get zero plastic out of our plastic ladders, even after we're able to make plastic. That's rude. Unless they're carrying plastic away? I don't think they are. I think I would have seen it. Store materials, self. Can I see what you're carrying? Status. Sedimentary rock. Okay, no plastic. Alright. So, this goes here. This goes here. Automation wire goes here. And we're... Wait, it's one off. Uh, this goes here. Here, rather. I'm gonna have to remove a bit of pipe first. Uh, let's remove that to be sure. Starvation again. Can we print some food, please? We actually can. Fantastic. Okay. Can we hurry this up? So, in the part of the loop that's going to keep moving no matter what, we're going to detect the temperature. If it's hot enough, we're going to send it to the AE, uh, to the Aqua Tuna. And if it's not, why not? Try to use the water for food too? There's not a whole lot of crops that uh, need water, and most of them want polluted water. Dunder no. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is someone on the way to do this, or everyone's asleep? Everyone's asleep. All right, here we go. Then we're on the way. Finally. All right, uh, one of these goes here. This goes here. And automation wire 
goes here. And just so that I can set the settings on that thing as soon as possible. Uh, we'll get that built first. Bristleberry? There's those, can't remember the name, that want water and light. Oh yeah, they're a nuisance. A little bit. Maybe changed it long time since I played. There's also those that want darkness and slime. Yeah, or darkness and CO2, I think it is, for the mushrooms. Where are they? Atmosphere. Oh, they're not growing. Because we had... Oh, I didn't build this properly specifically for carbon dioxide stuff earlier. And we actually filled the entire base with oxygen. So now that food isn't growing. Oh, no. Uh, a whole lot of... A whole lot more meal wood is growing, though. So that's good. Weasel wart. I mean, weasel wart. Can I just call it weasel wart? Is that okay? Oh, what's our setting for this? Uh... Luckily, the wire hasn't been built yet. Green signal if above... 20 degrees. We're going to lose 14 degrees when we go through this. And I want a little bit of slack as well. Okay. Might need a four-tile hive room, though. Just need door... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Door to be at the top instead of at the bottom. Yes. Didn't finish that job. Is... I need this automation wire. And I want this done as well. Alright, let's check errands. Fantastic. And can we finally get this thing done? Oh, it's not running anyway? What? Oh, because we're running the AETN right now. Okay. Well, we still haven't got that green wire yet. But we do have the liquid input anyway. So let's see. No power wire connected. Uh, how many things do we have to get right? After playing RimWorld and being able to manually make pawns do things, this prioritizing only way of controlling things is a pain. The prioritization is something at least, but yes, uh, being able to draft them helps a whole lot, especially when it comes to, no, don't go that way, you are going to die, please stop. Alright, did we actually get this built? No, there's still no power here. Errands, construction supply, everyone's procrastinating. Do we have the resource? Iron ore. We've got f almost 16 tons. Not just drafting, but clicking a pawn and then clicking a task and clicking do this now. I don't remember being able to do that. Did they add that relatively recently or did I just forget? can also automate the rooms so the robots give your plants dirt instead of your duplicates. Interesting. What is taking so long? Undead hunters on the way. And very on the way. Uh, 
Alright, we got there eventually. Fantastic. So, as soon as we hit 20 degrees... We're actually over 20 degrees, what the... Oh, below... Yeah, once we drop below 20 degrees from the AETN running here, we're going to use the Thermo Aqua Tuna. Uh, the water is at 22 degrees. How cold is cold enough for our coolant here? It is getting colder. It's not cooling as that much quicker compared to the not radiant pipes, but it is an improvement. I'm actually really surprised how long it's taking, especially, I mean, with the AETN in particular. All this water in the way? Indeed. I think a single load of steel adds something like 54 degrees to the water. Okay. So... 20 degrees is actually about where we want to stop there, right? I think... If we go much... If we go above like 75 degrees in the pipes... I think we put 80 degree pipe uh, water through here all the time. 90 degree even. So we could... Oh, we're getting it through now anyway. Fantastic. And we're seeing some flicker on the thermo sensor here. Taking its sweet time filling up. I remember using oil as a coolant to turn it into petroleum for free. And also because steel made water turn into gas. So just cooling oil gives you petroleum? Seems like there's an awful lot of science knowledge in this game that helps. Uh, when is a duplicate coming? Not allowed by schedule, of course. How much steel do we have? 800 kilograms. This next one is going to be the fourth last one before we can actually make an aqua tuna that can run our, uh, our steam turbine. And we still have steam here. I know we're getting heat from the water geyser, but wow, that is taking a long time to cool. Food and oxygen should by... Oh, boy. Yeah, well, the, th the thing is, we're trying to cool the place, because that's why we can't produce food. And we're trying to get our coolant loop working again. Um, what's the temperature like here? 29? 29? 30? Okay. Weeze what about here? The rest... Mealwood? And hopefully that'll... I think this was going to be another Draco room. That's why we've got farm tiles and also grooming station. Oh, he's wrangled? Did I set this to auto-wrangle surplus? Yeah, I did. Can I copy settings here? Okay. We're actually growing food again. The ration box is actually full of food, so how how is it saying... That we only have 4,000 calories. Allergy medication? Oh. We have 143 kilograms of allergy medication. How did that happen?
If you want to isolate the heat, you can use isolation tiles. Oh, uh, insulation tiles. Indeed. If you have plastic trecos, there's no reason to get petrol. <laughs> plastic trecos. Fantastic. Oh, we're already up to a thousand steel. That was two whole more recipes. Uh, but I've actually gone overtime for today already. So we're going to wrap it up there. Uh, let's find a stream to raid. Oxygen not included. Preferably. So you use them to create plastic without having to deal with heat. The glossy Dracos you get from feeding normal Dracos mealwood are shown for raw plastic rather than wool. Why doesn't it tell you you can shear them or how to do that? Alright, we have a few options here. I think I raided Just Jack twice already, probably. So I'll give it a rest just for, just for today. How about this one? Oh, someone else is doing it blind first playthrough. Fantastic. Thank you all for watching. Do take care. And I'll see. No one's dying, are they? No, I think we're good. Let me do a. Okay, no one has died recently. Let's do a save. Take care, Veldak. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, to Tuesday. Thanks for hanging out also. Evil Plot. Good to see you again also. Thanks for stopping by. Dundano. Take care. And let's head on over. I haven't played Lightning Returns though, so I'm not sure what they did with her there. Uh, as much as I dislike 13, uh, she is a good character there. Oh wow! Tyrannosaurus Hex! Thank you so much for the raid! 59 people, holy crap! Hello everyone! Welcome, I'm Stamp, and we are playing...